boxcars, they sleep with hearts stashed in their backpacks. They'll make California all right. About, uh, it's about harming other people and attempting to attempting to set it right with them, and just sometimes other people, you know, don't want like don't want that for me. You know what I mean? Uh, other people do not owe me forgiveness sometimes for things that I've done, uh, for things that I did to them, and uh, that it's it's important for me to be able to accept that and attempt to move on in my life and treat people better at this point. But there are some things that cannot be undone, and that is the is the terrible truth sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's the, the, no, that's not like something you will want about. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's about understanding, then I appreciate it. But, but, but no, do not do terrible things that cannot be undone. If you can avoid them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's do one about raising chickens. Yeah. 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 But it's also it's also about killing chickens that you know personally. <laughs> tricked you into thinking it was all positive. It's never all positive, because I'm crazy. <laughs> I eat cigarettes for breakfast and coffee for lunch. For dinner, I lay in the dirt and wait for the end times to come. I wish I could tell you the truth, but when I do, it comes out sounding stupid. But meet me at four in the morning and see for yourself. There's some rise and sunset that's all I all the rest is a prison that I built for myself. And my worst nights have still burned down the city just for a peaceful night's rest. But here in your arms, my darling, I think I can wait. Or I hope I can. We murdered a chicken for breakfast. We ate her for lunch. She was beautiful, she was scrappy, she was.
<laughs> Perfectly legal tobacco, everyone. <clears throat> you like this is this is what happens to my hair if I if it's like wet and like I, I sort of like do this a lot to it <coughs> as it dries. I can get sort of a rat's nest thing going. You like? Anyway. <coughs> oh. Oh. <coughs> ace. Oh, my ace. <coughs> so, here in a little bit, um, we're probably going to hear a motorcycle in the background. When we hear that motorcycle in the background, Kai's going to have to step away for a few minutes. I'll be back. I'm not abandoning you guys, but I uh, I have some business to take care of. Um, perfectly legal. That's not even me covering my ass. That's literally, that's literally just straight up. It is perfectly legal. Um, <laughs> guys, uh, I will tell you guys about it after I come back from it. Um, I had an evening and it's, um, it's got a, it's got a disappointing, but familiar conclusion. Uh, Marcus, I am a slut. Uh, perfectly legal. <laughs> wink, wink. B <laughs> business. Wink, wink. Um, <laughs> it's, 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 it's more this Marcus was closer Marcus was close it's more of that than you know some sketchy ass fucking oh uh, god I missed your face and didn't even know how much until I heard your voices ace I love you ace I hope you've been well I hope the kids are well I hope the fucking college has come along I uh, you know still fighting the fight as you do you badass bitch that you are uh, I'll, dude, I still remember you fucking scooping those motherfuckers up into your van. Fucking, when the shots start popping off, and you're like, get the fuck in, bitches. And you fucking just mom vanning people out of that shit. I remember that shit. I don't forget. Oh. Uh, uh, let's see. Rev. Guess what my uh, eight-year-old told me a month ago. I... I uh, fuck the police. That's, that's appropriate for your household. <laughs> what they what they say? Uh, Kai with disheveled hair has some business to take a, care of. Wait a minute. Uh, you guys are starting to put two and two together. <laughs> Actually, you know what? It's not even a result of that. It's straight up. Um, it, <laughs> like, it's a whole other ball game. Uh, my eight-year-old told me they're non-binary, and I'm currently fighting for trans rights in their school. <laughs> of course you are. <laughs> of course you are. Uh, good on the kid. Good on you. You know what, Ace? You know what I mean when I say that. Fuck the kid. The kid's whatever. You. You did well. You did well. Your eight-year-old fucking felt com felt comfortable enough with you as a par parental figure to approach you with a, a sensitive topic. And fucking that's that's solid solid parenting there. A plus, A plus, uh, from the from the guy who wants absolutely nothing to do with parenting your children. But you know, I could see it. From I was a kid, people raised me. I know what's good and what's not. Fucking Ace, I know what you mean. Yeah, like the kid, whatever. The kid's ancillary to this story. <laughs> it's, it's about you, Ace. Oh, uh, but uh Holy shit. <laughs> Mid cough. Zippy, that is the fucking worst thumbnails. <laughs> that's fucking brilliant. Oh, Zippy, that's rough. Uh, good on you, though. Ace, good on you. And of course, you're fighting for trans rights at their school. Let's well, just, it's fucking, I would expect nothing less from you. If you aren't stirring up some shit, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, Crick, someone told me I need to wear my gimp suit tonight. Well, it's getting a little hot in here. How long do I have to wear it for? Uh, <laughs> Crick, I'm not in charge of you, so I don't know. You're going to have to ask the person who told you they had to, you had to wear it, I suppose. Uh, 
that's the thumbnail. I was like, what the fuck, Twitch? Zippy, I wonder what, when they refresh those. What's the rate of refresh on that? <laughs> uh, yeah, you don't raise kids, but you know the meta. Exactly, Red. Thank you, Red. That's a very, that's a good turn of phrase for that, too. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't raise kids, but I mean, it's, it's you know. It's like in practice it's difficult, but in concept it's really not. Right? Like doing it is a fucking dude, that's a whole ball game. But like, you know, the concept's not that complicated, really. Just be loving, accepting, don't be a fucking dickhole. Don't pass your crazy shit onto them if you can if you can help it. Right? Like try and prevent pre present as neutral of a boring fucking presentation that you can. Like, you know, like, sand down some of those rough bits and, you know, fucking just be honest with the kid. For the fuck's sake, it's not that complicated. Don't lie to your kids. Like, just don't do it. Like, take that, like, Cat Williams advice. Uh, that's the hard part. Don't pass on the trauma your parents gave you, right? You just end up creating a whole new set of problems. You know that, right? Like, that's the, the, the weird math involved with parenting human beings. Um, fucking is, is that like, whatever, like you plus the other one, or even just you, like something's going to get through the net or there's going to be a counter reaction to, or there's going to be some outside influence plus, and there's just some form of that equation that you'll never quite completely avoid. You're going to fuck the kid up somehow. Like, that's just, that's just, the, that's the game, right? Like, that's the game. Like, we, you just kind of accept that as human beings. Like, you just, at a certain point, you go like, you know, we're going to fuck them up though, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're going to have a whole new set of problems. It'll be great. <clears throat> you overcompensate or just compensate and they overcompensate. It's a whole fucking process. We all went through it. Uh Kaiser said, the most proud moment of my life was one day when I was leaving for a, uh, for a DA. My nephew told me the uh, government to shut, th shut the heck up. Uh, nice. They, uh, stoned as fuck. The Cat Williams advice. It's this piece of, like, economic advice that Cat Williams, it's a story Cat Williams tells uh, about how he interacts with his child. Treats him like a goddamn human being. Not some, like, version that hasn't earned its human beingness yet just like out of the gate some straight up this is a human right like child adult it, just forget all that this is a fucking human being treat him like you would treat a human being right so he's kind of straight up like kind of pimping with his kid like he he tells him like what's up like his kid wanted a brand new xbox or some shit <clears throat> and he's like, let me sit you down. I can buy you that, but it ain't going to come with any games. And it's only going to come with one controller, right? Like that's just the reality of the situation. And I can do that. I can do that all day, every day, right? That's, that's his, he repeats. I can do that all day, every day. Or we could go out and get the one ads or the, 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 uh, the fucking, the fucking whatever, um, the fucking Craigslist for today. Um, and we could get you what's called a Nintendo 64. And it will come with another controller and like a stack of games. Now, somebody else is going to have played these games to see if they're good or not. And this will have been somebody's el somebody else's. But... You will have another controller for you and your friend or your daddy, and you will have all the games. What you want. And his kid looks at him like, let's go get the let's go get that Nintendo 64. Right? Like he's teaching him, like that's it's some goofy ass fucking bit about like how this this dude just interacts with his kid and like teaches him that like really frankly. What, you need to think about this differently. And that lesson transfers really effectively. 
And so, yeah, it's it's that kind of parenting that I respect. It's like, dude, just treat him like a fucking human being and tell him what's up. This shit's rigged. This shit's rigged. Don't fucking lie to your kids. You don't need them believing crazy shit because this shit's crazy as it is. It's just crazy as it is. So don't even worry about it. Like, just fucking tell them what's up, please. <laughs> Fuck, it was, that was one of the best things that my mom ever fucking did for me was take me into the goddamn emergency room and the recovery room and like take me into her world in the hospital and like homie it's for real <laughs> like you, you understand that like that motherfucker just got decapitated right just riding a snowmobile across the fucking you know a, a, a field it's like oh shit this shit's like yes yes do not live let them live in that dora experience Dora the Explorer fucking world or whatever fucking weird cartoon world people have turned their children over to this this cycle. I don't know what it is now. <laughs> fucking A. Um, so let me go back a ways. Non-binary. Don't hate me for us. Uh, hate me as unsubscribe for six months before you got banned. You still get the money, I hope. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Non-binary, I think it probably will. It probably will. Dude, this fight, dude. Amazon just fucks everything. I found some other shit that was disabled from the band too. I went in on the fucking tax forms for these assholes. Like, if fuck, I'm like, oh, this got logged out too. This got deauthorized. Oh, that's that's fun. Okay, great. Just another thing, dude. When they 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 hit you with that fucking suspension, dude. There's like I don't know, 25 settings or some shit you need to check. Like I haven't seen a guide. Somebody needs to write a fucking guide for that shit. Things to do and check on Twitch after you inevitably get a suspension for some stupid fucking reason. Right? Here's all the stuff you need to check. There should be a guide for that. Uh, Marcus, there's a reason every other generation of my family is alcoholics for the last century. Yeah, every other. Mm -hmm. Yep, there's that overcompensation. Uh, Red, at some point when I'm uh, more of a stable adult, I'm likely going to try and adopt a kid. I don't want to get get, get get my dumpster fire DNA. Red, I respect it. That's know thyself territory. That's know thyself. I respect it. Rev, uh, I spent two hours the other night explaining various anarchist concepts to my nine-year-old. Nice. He lives with his Christian conservative mother, though. I'm not sure I can fully counter his daily indoctrination. Probably not. Probably not. But you can count on rebellion. Rebellion's always a good phase. If he hits some weird rebellion, you can totally uh, jump on that. <clears throat> uh, Zippy, okay, okay, but I lie story. My aunt and uncle refused to lie to their kids about Santa Claus, but weren't supposed to tell me. So every time they were mean or whatever, I told them, this is why Santa doesn't bring you anything. You're bad. <laughs> oh, Zippy. Ace. Oh, I fucked my kids up for sure, but hey, it's better fucked up than I am. See? Progress. Ace, that's progress. That's fucking progress. Who cares? Fuck it. Uh, Cat Williams advised that you don't get decked by a kid, dude. Cat Williams has had some very interesting experience. That motherfucker needs to do another special. Like, has he... I, I, I need to check on that. Has he done a special recently? <laughs> like, because he needs to do a new special. He's funny. He's, he's naturally funny. His, his material is hit or miss. He's a funny man. Like, he is naturally just funny. He could probably just read a menu and it would be funny. Um, he's all day, every day. I love that bit. Yeah, that bit's great. Uh, being a parent is less than being a monk uncle. No, no, Kaiser. Being, an, being the crazy fucking uncle is the best gig ever. Being the uncle who swoops in and says some shit and be like, oh, no, you, you know that's bullshit, right? What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's all. That's all bullshit. They're just lying to you. Don't worry about it. You'll learn about it in a couple of years, but I'll just give you a heads up now. Right? All that's all that's bullshit. Dude, that's one of the best fucking things to be the cool uncle. Just to swoop in and lay some fucking reality on him. And it's usually a breath of fresh air for him. I'd be like, he's just fun and real. And, you know, I had one of those. I had one of the fucking cool uncles. Right? That's just like, yeah, I don't care. What? Yeah, I'm not your parent. Like that's not what I'm what I am. I'm 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 your uncle. Right? That's a whole other gig. You know? Yeah. Straight up. 
He was a good one. Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, I dig it. Nintendo 64. Yeah, honestly, it was palsy. Uh, hey, Poka, welcome. I don't think I could realistically raise a kid to caboose, but I've wondered if I ever managed to support myself and get a decent living going. Am I, uh, I might be able to uh, be a fairly decent foster parent. Hey, I, you know, <clears throat> I'm, 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 I would never be suited for it, but I'd be really useful to have in the periphery, probably. Yeah, I, I, I actually am like a living example of the, the gay, uh, the gay uncle um theory that like in social the, the evolutionary there is a theory about homosexuality as one what one of the positives that it could bring to an evolutionary cycle is that it's actually a um net positive in resource management and gain uh in like tribalistic societies if you think about that there's going to be this individual who's going to like voluntarily remove from the like breeding competition and then they're going to be contributive within like their productive cycle of their life. They will, they can help raise the kids. They can take some of the pressure off of some of the areas of the in tribal society. And so there's, you know, yeah, I, I am the living embodiment of that. Um, I'll help. Just don't, don't fucking expect me to like, you know, <laughs> when they become too problematic, they're your problem, right? I'll put up with, so much and you know beyond that not my kid so <laughs> uh rev i'm trying to instill some bank is basics if i get lucky it'll stick with him in my teenage years uh yeah i'm like uncle roger up for this business guy so yeah being an uncle is great uh let's see onboarded my constant repetition of the only acceptable usage of violence is in defense against a greater violence rock the fuck on rev yeah if that's a oh fuck me <laughs> rational anarchist thank you for the sub but <laughs> there's gonna be a pop-up here shortly that'll scroll through chat or be on screen but i thank you damn it if you're gonna do something stupid do it in a smart way my advice to my nieces and nephews dude beast that that'll save their life in a bunch of bunch of ways um Let's see. That's just LGBTQ propaganda, this cupcake. Well, I mean, yeah, totally is. Um, whether if everyone has to devote themselves to baby making, then everyone's fucked us up. Hey, Wither. Uh, Marcus, I have seven nieces and nephews. In keeping with my delusions of grandeur, I will adopt one like Caesar, <laughs> Caesar to carry on my legacy. Probably the obviously gay dude. I respect it. I respect it. Um... My one and only disappointment that my sister and her fiance aren't going to have kids is I don't get to be Uncle Uncle Sam. Otherwise, I don't care. Says Caboose. Yeah, dude, that's yeah, fucking that's rough. Oh uh, no, it's okay. So Jesus Christ, it's still there. Uh, Zippy, check on it again. <laughs> it's, ter it's terrible. <laughs> Either way, oh. Uh, all right, clear that. Oh, is there anything that I fuck? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know what I wanted to fucking talk about? This is so stupid. This is so stupid. This is so stupid. Dude, it's it's somebody on drone footage has con effectively confirmed that story about Russian soldiers um, falling ill with radiation poisoning, poisoning <clears throat> because they dug trenches in the chernobyl exclusion zone and like dug in and they didn't wear any like nbc hazard hazardous gear like these motherfuckers <laughs> these motherfuckers uh all right cool better thank you zippy yeah 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 yeah, yeah. they dug in they dug in they dug trenches they they took fucking tanks out and they fucking they, they dug trenches and these motherfuckers aren't in fucking masks or hazmat gear. Yeah. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of Russian soldiers that are coming down with radiation poisoning because they went out and breathed in the dust from digging trenches in the goddamn Chernobyl exclusion zone. This, 
This fucking war is the dumbest goddamn thing. It's fucking, it's a farce. It's literally a farce. This is a classic Shakespearean farce at this point. This is just absolutely ridiculous. <clears throat> Russia sure do love pretending Chernobyl didn't happen, said Caboose. Oh, yeah. Um, what glows in the dark but isn't very bright? Russian soldier. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So there's your punch. There's your, there's your one liner for it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Is this that song? Yeah. It's that fucking one song that just the end just goes on silent for ages. Ah, oh. to quote darkest dungeon. Most will end up here covered in the poisoned earth awaiting merciful oblivion. <clears throat> Trenches was 1917. Uh, yeah, that's dude. It, it, there's even like I mean they dug it's fucking here it's fucking ridiculous it's fucking you want to see the trenches we've got we've got footage we've got overhead footage of the trenches it's it's absolutely absurd look at all these holes look at all these fucking holes they dug Just, just proving where we are. Yeah, proving where we are. Survey of the landscape. There's fucking Chernobyl. Fucking, and let's look down. This is what they were doing. Dude, this is like... They kicked up so much dust. They kicked up so much dust. Oh, yeah, it probably is for twos. I mean, that's the truth. It's probably mass graves, just so you know. Like, I mean, that's the truth. We're calling them trenches, but, like, I mean, they are trenches. We can't prove without ma bodies in them that they were mass graves. They're not graves yet. They have a, a perfect deniability. It, but, yeah, I mean, you know, probably. Just saying. Um, yeah, they're super fucking, um, they are super fucking close. Um, like, yeah, like they breathe that in They're Yeah. Those reports of like sol Russian soldiers falling ill. That shit. That's the kind of shit you do that gets you fucked like that. So. Yeah, <laughs> I, I just, <laughs> oh, that whole fucking war is just absurd. That whole fucking war is absurd. <sighs> oh, yeah, the dude and the, the Tennessee Republicans, dude, this is fucking OK. We really we're we're we we really might start doing. I saw somebody mention this. We really might start doing um, tracking like conservative anti-LGBTQ, Republican, Libertarian, um, sex offenders, like, against kids. Like, we might actually start doing segments on that. Like, we might actually keep track of that. That's, dude, that's the one, that's a never-ending font of um, content, just like the, the police malfeasance. But two, that's some fucking punchback. Right? Because they're constantly hitting the LGBTQ and fucking anybody who's sex positive fucking with that pe a pedo fucking charge. And you know what? There's a lot of them. There's a lot of them at this point. Dude, this is shit. This is, this is a pattern. This is a pattern at this point. So, like, this is an inbuilt something something aberrant within their, cult, their culture, their subculture, their... Um, Belief in ideology is producing this behavior because this shit happens all the time. And so, like, yeah, like we may actually start doing some of those segments, too. 
Like, this is fucking ridiculous. Dude, the Tennessee Republicans are pushing to abolish age limits on heterosexual marriages. Like, they don't, that's, that's just the long and short of it. Do they, they want, <clears throat> they want, they want, they want the option to marry some fucking 12 year old up in the hills. Dude, that's straight up. Yeah. Like, yeah, oh yeah, Cassidy. That's, I mean, I'm fucking, <laughs> we, we may straight up. Like, this is, this is fucking ridiculous at this point. Like, I, I, guys, <laughs> this happens all the time. This happens so fucking often. Uh, what you got? A uh, cupcake. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the fucking John Rose guy. Yeah, Cassidy fully documented that shit on the server. Um, like, yeah, like, with the math and shit. Yeah, dude, that dude groomed his wife. The dude who wrote the bill groomed his wife. Like, that, I mean, straight up. There's like, you fucking, the, the math has already been done on the server. Like, Cassie fucking laid the math out too. It's like, here you go. This is, it, it, yeah, there's, and there's a photo of them together when she's like, oh God, that photo is so creepy. She's, she's just a, she's a, she's just a little girl. She's just a little girl. Sure, she's a teenager, but I can't. I'm I'm too fucking old at this point, right? And I'm just I I look at her and I'm like, holy shit, she's a child. She's a fucking child. And he's like, oh, that creepy old man next to her, already apparently planning. Like, oh god. Yeah, that's the dude who wrote the bell. It's a goddamn creeper. It's a fucking kitty diddler, man. <laughs> like, what do you want? Oh, yeah, she had braces and shit. It's just, it honestly, there's no, like, once you're past a certain fucking age, yeah, some shit just flips in your brain. That's how you know that's aberrant behavior. It's because there's just some shit that flips in your brain. I, I have, I don't want anything to do with kids. I don't fucking, I don't want to be a parent. I have none of that instinct. Dude, that shit even, like, that's in my brain. Like, dude, you hit a certain age and you just look at them and you're like, they're fucking children. Like, you just can't, you, there's a base instinct, there's a guttural instinct that just tells you it's like, anybody who sees anything other than that, that's some aberrant shit. That's just, just you know, it's like, there's some biological shit up in there, some trigger that you're just like, oh yeah, dude, you look at that photo and you're like, she is a, she is a baby. Like she is, she's a goddamn fetus, right? She's closer to being a fetus than she is to my age, right? Like she's, she's in that photo. She's a fucking baby. And you know, you're like, oh my God, he's like paying for shit. And he's paving the way. He groomed his fucking wife. Oh, um, fucking, his name is, um, John Rose, John Williams Rose. He's, um, yeah, born in 65. His, his wife was born three minutes ago. Um, but yeah, he's, he's, he's the fucking sixth district, uh, Republican U.S. representative for fucking, uh, Tennessee. Fucking, apparently he was the commissioner of agriculture for Tennessee and president of Bozen Software LLC. Oh, God. Here, here, you want this? Here, I'll show you. It's fucking, it's creepy as shit. It's, this is like the, the, oh, God. God. All right, all right, all right. You, you, I mean, you, He looked at her and said, marriage material. Okay. He looked at her and said, marriage material. Here's the engagement. Oh, I don't even know. No, no, no. It was here. She is later. Dude. It's creepy. 
The other was the governor. Okay, so apparently this is the wrong dude. Still the right dude. Here's the right dude. Here's the right dude. Either way. Creepy. Oh, by the way, he knew her before this. This is their engagement. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is their engagement. He knew them fucking... He knew her. She was paying for, like, her scholarship or some shit like that. It was bad. That's her dad. Dude, that's her dad. Yeah. Yeah, Puka, that's her dad, right? Like, that's... Dude, if you showed me this photo and asked me the nature of the relationship here, I'd be like, that's clearly his daughter. Like, this is weird. It's weird. It's weird. The whole fucking thing is weird. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here we go. No, no, no. No, no, no. Here we go. All right. So, here you go. All right. So that's the thing. When she was that when she was that old, this creepy motherfucker over here was already paying his way into her life. Yeah, got a scholarship and shit from him. He knew her at that age. Yeah, forget this guy. This creepy motherfucker over here knew her three minutes ago when she was that age and married her a handful of years later. It's weird. <laughs> it's less an autumn and spring relationship and more a Genesis and Revelations deal. Yeah, it's just, um, yeah, I, I, I think we need to start covering those regularly. No, Kai, that's what you call true love. Yeah, yeah. She married a father figure. That's creepy when they do that. That's creepy. That sort of Oedipal territory. It happens a lot. That happens a lot, and it's creepy every fucking time. Don't lie to yourselves. Do we... That, that shit where, like, you know, people marry their, like, mothers and fathers. Not literally, but just personifications, characterizations of... That's a little weird. I love my mom, but, like, if I were straight, that would not be a thing I'd be, like, pursuing. <laughs> right? Like, I, I, I just, like... What the fuck, people? Get your shit together. God, some, some people out there are really fucked up, aren't they? And that's coming from me. Um, and they had multiple kids and own a farm. Of course they do. Um, did she realize he could live another 40 years? Not if she has anything to do with it. <laughs> what? <laughs> hmm? I'm sorry. Just go ahead and clear my throat. Just do a little cough. Um... At least Anna Nicole Smith married a millionaire on the verge of death just to get his money. Okay, one, she never got his money. She never got his money. She, she, dude, she didn't get a payout from that fucking case. The kids tied that up so obnoxiously and successfully that, dude, she, she ended up not making any money off that deal. Um, two, by all accounts, she, in, retrospect she might have not done it for the money it's worth it's worth talking about it's worth talking about that that's actually an option people dismissed it people dismissed it right but like who knows Right? The, like, the money was just a, a possibility. Like, yeah, sure. Maybe I'll get some cash out of it. But she might have been there for, like, a different reason first. Yeah, like, 
it, 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 yeah, there's, there's other directions to look at that situation. And look, I've never sat down and had a heart to heart with fucking Anna Nicole Smith. Right? Like, you know, I never got that opportunity. So I don't fucking know. And none of y'all, we're never going to get that. Like, we're never going to get that actual heart to heart with her. So, you know, it's at least worth considering that there was some other shit going on there than just, I'm going to get a payday. Anna had issues. She did. And it's, you know, it could be more complicated than just gold digging. Um, so... Ouija board on Friday. <laughs> Anna, did he have a big dick? Oh. Uh, uh, let's see. Thought I might have heard a motorcycle. I do still have a uh, uh, Harley Beast Harley Moose cock like Rasputin maybe says Che Yeah exactly yeah, We don't know <laughs> uh, Samantha Savage thank you. thank you for the follow uh, Oh Beast he's fucked up Yeah uh, he, uh, no, no, no. He's just a rider, but yeah, he, he like, yeah, he's just a rider. Um, but he's fucking, he's had his fair share of beat ups apparently on that fucking bike, uh, or other bikes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, sweet. All right. For is just posted the landscape for Sunday's election. I said I am less than optimistic. Let's just take a look at this. Um, okay. You know what? I can make this bigger. Fuck that. Let's just do this. This. And this. All right. <clears throat> My ex-stepdad ripped his leg off of a Har off a Harley. Yeah. This dude's got some shit. I'll tell you about it. Um, nah. Beast, apparently not. Uh, I'll I'll tell you about it after, uh, when this is all said and done. So what do we got? <clears throat> uh, the neolib is leading at twenty seven percent. The fascist is second uh, in line at twenty three percent. The tanky is third third position at sixteen point five percent. Both uh, the fascist and tanky have gained points. The neolib has lost a half a point. Uh, the conservative uh, is trailing in fourth at 9.5 and tied with the second fascist um, <laughs> uh, at 9.5 as well. Uh, the Greens are down there at 4.5. The Communists are at 3. The Social Democrats are at 2.5. The Straight Up Weirdos are at fucking 2%. Weird and Cultish is at 1.5. I love that they have that. Uh, there's an Anarchist uh, at 0.5. And a Syndicalist at 0.5. Um, I want to look up Weird and Cultish, actually. Um... Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, Fertus is here. Um, <laughs> I'm binary. Jesus Christ. Um, you're surprised how low the sock dem is. I, you know, I kind of am too, right? Um, I actually am. I'm kind of, I'm kind of surprised about that. Um, Jesus. This is, dude, this is a shit show. It really is, isn't it? Holy fuck. Dude, you're Emmanuel. Dude, you're cutting. You're cutting the same deal with the devil that like we were cutting with Biden, right? Like you're like we have to vote for the neolib, right? It's fucking absolute garbage, absolute garbage. But you might end up with Marine Le Pen, right? That's that's you don't want that. That's not what you want, right? Yeah. 
Oh uh, yeah, and then the tanky in third. Like yeah, exactly. Yeah, you 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 are you are making the same deal with the devil um, that the U.S. makes every single fucking year. Only yours is in like multi-choice form, right? Like we don't have this much choice. This isn't. This is not. This is way too much choice um, in our political system. We have a binary political system at this uh, at this point. So, like, you know, we get neolib fascist, neolib fascist. Like that's 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 our choice. There's no tanky. Um, so, like, yeah, this is this. You guys get to have the true American experience with your election. It seems like, and just bite the bullet. And fucking vote for the neolib because the other option is that you get some crazy bitch who's going to start like rounding up brown people and shit. Yeah. Good luck. Uh, you have my sympathies and my empathy. Uh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, Samantha, you're straight up in harm reduction mode now. You're straight up in harm reduction mode. Look, harm is going to happen. Look at your options. Be a pragmatist. Be a realist. Look at the percentages. Look at your options. Survey the playing field as it stands. Do any of the optimistic options have a long shot in hell to, to succeed? No, they don't. So you need to go into harm reduction. Harm is going to happen. You're going to have a fucking neolib or you're going to have a goddamn crazy fucking fascist, right? Take your fucking pick. Which set of these harms would you rather go with? You're in harm reduction territory now. Yeah. It, you're going to you're going to bleed no matter which one you choose. But one of these probably might hit an artery. So you need to pick wisely. <sighs> Axel, I don't know. Axel's asking fair questions. Is Macron willing to give in to some tanky or socialistic demands to get some more votes, or would that lose him more votes to Le Pen? I, you know. Um, che, don't forget, this is uh, the neolib who said the fascist wasn't hard enough on immigration in Islam. Jesus goddamn Christ, it's a shit show over there. It's a goddamn shit show. Good luck. You're going to bleed. It, maybe maybe the fucking fascist is the fucking I, you know Jesus Christ are the neolibs crazier than the fascists in France cuz that's some crazy ass shit we need to be talking about if the if the neolibs have like pushed the accelerator pedal that hard that like a fair survey like an actual like scientific look at this you'd be like no, you go down the checklist and the neolibs are actually like functionally more fascistic than the fascists are. That's a that's a fucking moment of conversation for sure. And you're like, uh <laughs> Caboose, ah, the American dream. Um Samantha, I'm postpartisan in the United States, but we also uh, live part time in France and my partner has to vote, so yeah, it's weird. There you go. Yeah. Uh, last time I voted, I literally didn't count anyhow. Probably should have written in Bernie or something, says Rev. That's not what I did. New, uh, New Mexico is blue except for uh, Kyoto. God, yeah, Kyoto. I can't. Fucking up. So I voted uh, Eeny Meeny. Oh, Jesus. I, uh, I mean, surely. Uh, oh, okay. Are you so fucking Jesus? Um, uh, the world was like, uh, oh, I was fucked over until people started to, um, okay. Uh, my, my partner's stance was pretty much anybody but Le, uh, Le Pen. Yeah, that's, dude, that's, you just have to make a, you have to make the decision that you're like, do you want that? Right? Like, isn't that your worst choice? The other one sucks. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. You're like, oh, God, I got to fucking support this piece of garbage. Yeah, because sometimes war makes strange bedfellows. There's motherfuckers that like real shit happens in the battlefield. That that stuff is not just is not just a cliche. It's a real shit. Right? Sometimes in war, you actually end up fighting with your enemy. And weird shit happens. Shifting powers and tides. Shit gets strange. You know? 
one minute you're hating on each other and the next minute you're like, oh, but we need to deal with that motherfucker, right? Like, we'll deal with our shit later. Yeah, cool. You know, and now you're in the trenches with your fucking sworn enemy fighting this other third crazy fuck, right? War makes strange bedfellows. So, like, yeah, sometimes you just got to take it on the chin and be like, anybody but the crazy fascist fuck. It's not a cliche, but it is my fetish. Make of that what you will. Oh, Marcus. Um. So chill, I think that one is Crystal. So chill. Hmm. Okay. I mean, if that's if that's fucking. I don't. But thank you if that's what that is. So chill. Oh, fucking. Some of those uh, indigenous, like Mex like Mexican region, those indigenous languages, dude. That's, and by the way, I count the Mexican region as like all of this too. <laughs> like, I took history out here. This shit, you, yeah, it was it was it was longer than ours at this point. So like maybe one day, fucking. People will start to think of it that way, but you spend enough time in the Southwest and you're like, dude, this is just all Mexico. We just, you know, some weird fucking borders moved around, but it's, it's in the language. It's in the streets, you know, it's, it's Pecos, Valle Verde, right? Like that's, those are our roads. Like that's just, you know, our, our points of reference for just how we build our world when you live here. It's all in Spanish. It's all in Spanish, even though it's like, this is, we speak English around here. Two to 10% of the time you don't. You've just adopted those words into your English lexicon. But the fact of the matter is, is most of the like names in the Southwest are all Spanish. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's all Mexican. We're just borrowing it. <laughs> that's, that's basically it. We're just, we just colonized it. We're just inhabiting it. We're just like, what's up? We're here. We're going to fuck some people. We're going to move around. Um, so it's just going to be. So, you know, yeah. Uh, but they totally fucked up Mexi food, Mexican food. Nah. Nah. No, there's still plenty of access to indigenous uh, food of the region, as well as um, the various, shall we call it, shall we dare call it, fusions um, that have occurred over the years. No, it's, it's, dude, it's, dude, I can get baller tamales and, you know, of course, you know, and that shit, that shit doesn't go down, right? Like um, in scale, when you leave a big city, the Mexican food does not get worse. Right. When you're in this region, like when you get to like some small bum fuck nowhere town, dude, there's going to be a baller like taco shop or some shit there. It's going to be the real deal. Um, Yeah. Like you don't lose quality for food in this region. It like uh, when you scale down, it's it's really impressive. It's just ingrained in the society. Yeah, it, it just it's just fundamental. Dude, they were here first. They were here first. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. The default setting for the Southwest of the United States is just Latino. And if you don't get with the fucking program when you live here, then you're just fucked. Hold on. Maybe.
All right. Where were we? Uh, <laughs> Kai's gone. We can talk about full four hole theory now. What have you developed? What is, um, what is your theorem? I thought there were only two holes, says Puka. Rational, there's actually, um, there's actually a fair clip of indigenous, um, still like M Mexican region indigenous. Um, yeah, the, there's like cat is actually, um, descended from, he's part indigenous as well. It's pretty common, uh, when you start talking to like the Latino population out here that you're like, yeah, fair amount of it. Yeah. Um They weren't as they weren't as thorough south of the border. That's the reality of it. That's I mean, that really is the sad truth of it. <laughs> like, you know, the Spaniards could only accomplish accomplish so much. And then America didn't give a shit. Yeah, a little less extermination, a little more assimilation. Fucking rough. Oh. oh, I'm sure it is. It always is. Um, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh God, it's this shit again. This is fucking. Can't be doing that. Do that one. My friend's girlfriend's father is like over 50% indigenous Mexican. Yeah. It's a whole bunch of it. Um, but anyway. So. <laughs> no. I. That is a hell of a thing. So I agreed to be while in a um, <clears throat> bit of a scene tonight um, while working a dude over, I had, uh, I agreed to act as his key holder. No big deal. It's nothing off me, right? Fucking all I do is hold on to a piece of metal. That's easy. He texted me. I kicked him to the curb at like 10. 10. 10. I kicked him to the curb at 10, right? Worked him over pretty good. Um, left some marks. Um, good at what I do, right? I was a sub for a lot of years. I know the tricks. I know how to fucking work somebody, right? And I know how to bring you down softly. Fucking, I'm, I'm good because I know, you know, what I would want. Um, so, yeah, I gave him what he wanted. And fucking... So I, I'm not going to show off my toys because that's not, that's never going to happen. That's never going to happen. Like you can just, you can just know that right now. That's never happening. <laughs> um, but you know, I was like, yeah, no worries. I got this. And I was not quite as amicable and uh, nice as I am with you guys. Uh, about that, yes. Um, I get to I get to act a little bit too. Um, and he sent me a text at like, oh well, fuck it, 
right? I kicked him to the curb about 10 o'clock. Um, oh, he fucking... <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Sorry. Um, all right. Dude, I didn't see any of those messages come in. I wonder how long I left him sitting there. Um, that's what he gets. <sighs> he drove around for 45 fucking minutes. Um, and then sends me a fucking text saying, I can't, I can't, I just, I'm just not ready. I'm not ready. Okay. Whatever. Come fucking get your key. Right? No big deal. So, yeah, I sent him on his way. I, um, I have a suspicion The reason I didn't hear him is because he didn't arrive in a uh, on a Harley. He arrived in an SUV with a uh, young man sitting in the passenger seat. So, he seemed to be in a hurry. Anyway. So, that's what that was about. <laughs> and yes, thank you, Walrus. Beast, oh, I like skilled leather work. Um, uh, life secret 990. Uh, respect pretty much most hominids you encounter on the planet, even the vile and wretched for the vile and wretched of the boogeyman that keep everyone in line. <laughs> Uh, Non-binary, I have a th really thick industrial rubber whip flogger and someone had to repack my bags. They didn't know that I was in the kink and I didn't know him very well. Yeah, well. Oh, no, no, no. Caboose. No, no, no. Age appropriate, probably. Within age appropriate. Ugh, Jesus. Let's start there. Alright. I lose, Red, I lose my keys even when they're in my pocket. If you give me your key, you're locked in, man. <laughs> um... I have. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Zippy. Um, I have several sets of devices that that uh, particular style of lock is used in, and I will tell you straight up: every single one of those locks is keyed to the exact same key across all of them that shit is some giant chinese industrial manufacturer of just bullshit little locks and i have never encountered one of those without it that is just the quintessential mass industrialization process like there i've I have had dudes straight up, they're like, oh, but I, I need to get my keys. I'm like, no, you don't. It's open. That key is the most generic manufactured item on the face of the planet. Yeah. You can usually just use a paper clip. Uh, the keys are standard. Everyone, Anyone with enough gear has seen that. So it's kind of like, yeah, dude, it's the same key across all of those style of locks. It is the quintessential Chinese manufacturing item. It is, it's actually impressive. It's kind of impressive that they don't have drift. That like, I, I haven't encountered one that doesn't fucking unlock. You could buy them in Amazon on, on Amazon in bulk. Yeah. No, you do. 
skip Amazon, go to AliExpress and just get it from like, you know, one middleman instead of like two or three, as is tradition within the capitalist modality of operation. Remember those binder locks from school you could pick with a pen cap? Yeah. Uh, they're not even good locks either. A lock uh, does no more than keep an honest man less. Uh, red. So why you integrate piercing? Um, <clears throat> Will Alexander Benthony. Nice to see you back on the fucking, on the, on the main account, my man. Uh, key and vital information for living a fulfilling life in a large city with limited funds and poorly understood chronic health condition that limits your lifespan and lowers your energy levels and causes skin flaking and blurry vision as well as mu muscle, uh, muscle atrophy. Hello, I'm Will. Key and vital info for life, crucifixion, and death and leaving a legacy for those close to you in the 2020s and beyond while studying to become an astronaut that pioneer travels to Mars using novel rockets. Dude, I love the fill in your own shit, but you filled it in effectively. That's a good one, Alexander. I like that. Um, <laughs> for sale, one lot of 1,000 chastity keys, wish.com. I mean, yeah, seriously. Uh, it is impressive. Dude, it fucking has any, have you guys ever browsed like some of these Chinese manufacturer websites? Dude, just go to AliExpress and look at what Alibaba's selling. Dude, that shit is impressive. Like you can buy multiple, like, I looked at bo water bottling lines, like literal production lines for water bottling, glass bottles, right? I looked at this shit one time. You can buy units of a hundred on those. We're talking like tens of thousands of dollars per production line. You buy the entire fucking production line just from in one go and you can buy units of a hundred. Like, dude, it's operating on an entirely different economic scale. I buy my partners on Alibaba. Nice, Will Alexander. Who makes them, though? Some random fucking Chinese manufacturer. We just have to look. We'd eventually find it. It's going to be some innocuously named company. It, it, they're all, like, you know, just something, something, manufacturing co. Ali Babe. I buy my partners on Ali Babe. I'm sorry I stepped on your joke, Will Alexander. I buy my partners on Ali Babe. Oh, the workers? Oh, pff, who the fuck knows? Probably small children. Yeah, knowing China? You know, some oppressed women, some non dominant ethnic groups, such as, like, you know, not Han. Um, you know, something like that. One of the marginalized groups. Will Alexander did speak, Kaiser. Will Alexander did speak. Uyghur. Yeah. Dude, it, it's such a, it's, it's, it's a tough one to spell. Uh, yeah, uh, 990. Yeah, Spain did pretty much ravage the Americas back in the day. Glad I was alive back then. Convert or die was their motto. Crazy. Yeah, dude, that Spanish Inquisition shit and the conquistador nonsense that they got up to. Dude, the Spanish in South America is the stuff of legend. Like, I mean, for real. Um, That was some conquistador? Oh, yeah, the the Spanish uh, exploration and colonization of South America and the tro uh, the uh, the uh, Baham Bahamas, the uh, Gulf, the entirety of the Gulf at one point um, was quite an eventful f uh, few hundred years for them. Conquistador. Uh, bought a bunch of free shit on Wish.com. Nothing ever shipped. Spent like uh, four fifty on shipping, but no. <laughs> this is rev. Uh, rational. I courted a gal who bought an old church and made her own locks, straps, hooks, planks, gears, and it was well. Golly, she was a Renaissance woman, dude. Rational. Artisanal work. Yeah. 
gets super expensive too. Um, do you have a good time? If you ever want to tell one of the stories, by all means, tell it. Um, that was my ancestor, dude. Came on an expedition, 1680 or something. Yeah. Do you want me to get my book out, Larry? This is fun. Hey, Newman, why don't you come on the air? I got to get rid of you, man. You know I got to get rid of you, right? It just dawned on me. Dude, you're ban evading. I know you're ban evading. You know you're ban evading. Twitch knows you're ban evading. It's TOS if I don't fucking get rid of you, man. But tell you what. I'll do you a favor. I'll go, um... Oh, yeah, he's been banned fucking 97,000 times. Dude, I'll, do you want me to go get my book about the Barbary Wars that an, that attempts to quantify um, the amount of white slaves that were taken uh, from the northern coast uh, by the northern coast of African uh, sort of empirical action into Europe? Um, so there's a professor of, uh, out at Ohio. Uh, um, University of Ohio that he's uh, he has attempted he's one of the few that has attempted to actually quantify that number and it is a significant number um, we are talking millions um, and I've talked about this on stream like I've got the book about it like I, I dude yeah oh no scary the left is gonna come cancel you fucking uh, dude like I, we love nuanced discussion that's not some weird gotcha around here so, I mean, that's, that's all you're going to get out of me. Cause now I gotta, I, like, as I said, like, I already know what I have to do here. I, I, dude, I gotta get rid of you. Right. Like there's <laughs> man, <laughs> stop naming your stupid fucking usernames. The same goddamn name. Are you, I mean, <sighs> how dumb are you? Here's your stupid fucking name. There we go. Um. There's the fucking report that I have to file via TOS. Ah. <sighs> And here we go, once again. Bye-bye. Yeah, and spell check your fucking Nazi blog, man. Dude, your grammar and spelling is shit. Like, I've got, I've got mistakes on mine that I need to, like, do another redraft on and shit. But, man, you're, you're, dude, you're, you're, your vocab, your grammar, your spelling. <laughs> it needs work. Fucking, we're beyond, we're beyond calling you out on your weird white supremacist Nazi bullshit. Now we're just trying to like tell you it's, it's, it's kind of garbage. It's from a like, you know, rhetorical and written standpoint and you need to tighten it up, man. You need to tighten it up. You're, you're, you're slacking. Like we're with, with this dude, how many times we got to tell you you're fucking weird as shit. You got this whole white supremacist shit going on. You got some weird like crypto fascism and then outright fascism you've got like you got a bunch of problems my man work on it but like you know also your spelling and your vocab your grammar is absolute rubbish on that blog too just you know if anybody gives a shit dude what is it with that like the fucking um turner diaries was garbage fucking are there any eloquent fascists there's gotta be right Anybody got some, like, decent fascist pros? Is that a thing? Somebody's had to put down some shit. This shit keeps Hoppa. Dude, he's not, he's not elegant. Hoppa is not a fucking, dude, Hoppa's garbage. But, you know, I know you were poking. Fucking, yeah, he's, he's just got the angry German shit. Like, if you listen to Hoppa, he's just, ah, dun, 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 dun. He was like, god damn. I knew this, I knew what was this about, this was about before it even started. 
Right? Like, I don't need English translations off this motherfucker. Let me guess. He's saying, like, he's like kill the darkies or some shit like that, right? Yeah, effectively so. Yeah, who would have guessed? You can just hear that shit. You're like, hmm. Uh, fascist poetry. Sonnets from the Reich. Um, let's see. Let's see what they got. What they got. Is that a thing? It's got to be a thing. I don't see anything outright called that. Wait, wait, wait. Um, not elegant prose. It's f- fucking. It's just, you know, like. Don't they have any artists? They're not about creativity. That's, I mean, that's the thing. It's always status quo, conservatism. Like, did all the good... If it's a thing, I'm going to laugh. It's not a thing, Zippy. Not as near as I can tell. You know what, though? Okay. German poetry. Nazi German poetry. Not... I don't... Yeah. See, I want something... I want something of the era. Poetry of the World War uh, of World War II. Is there this guy, dude, they didn't just stop creating. It was war, but I mean, even war drives poetry, it drives passions, it drives artist artistic creation. Even amongst Nazis. Yeah, okay. All right. I found Oh, God, it's going to be awful, though. Like, you know, it's going to be awful, right? Like, that's... Dude, dude, and we're talking Germans. It, we're talking Germans. <sighs> and homoerotic. And homoerotic. They checked homoerotic, like, on the second one. I'm not reading this shit. I'm not reading literal Nazi propaganda out of uh, fucking out. But I got to tell you, yeah, I've I've got a bunch. I've got a bunch. And dude, like right out of the gate, you get definitely, definitely homoerotic. Two men are uh, two men are joined as one in you. First line. First line. This is entitled Adolf Hitler, by the way. Yeah. It's a fucking piece. It's a poem entitled Adolf Hitler. And the first line, two men are joined as one in you. Okay. Yeah. Y'all gay. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> This is the gayest goddamn poem I've ever heard. Yeah, dude, this is super gay. This is super gay. This whole poem is super gay. Holy shit, man. I'm not going to be able to resist reading this. So just go ahead and check that off. I'm, I'm, I'm going to read on air some like national socialist fucking pseudo religious phenomenon and like poetry shit. This is... Dude, this is, this is, this is literally, um, this is published in 1938. It's a thin book written by, by Hitler youth members in Austria before the Nazi takeover in 1938. Goebbels awarded it national book prize for 1937-1938. According to Goebbels, as cited on the dust jacket of the book, We had almost decided to split the award or draw lots for it when a thin little book of poetry appeared on the market. It made all further consideration pointless. This book fulfills the goals of our book prize better than any other. There are 29 poems contained within. Okay? This is the second poem. It is entitled Adolf Hitler. This is the gayest goddamn shit. Two men are joined as one in you. One seems cold and hard. One who achieves his goals. Another is tender and kind. He forgets not even the poorest. He feels for the least of us. Two streams owe their strength to you. 
You are the sap rising from each root, the seed that gives them birth. That forged us together as a nation and dwells in us forever. That is the gayest goddamn shit. Holy fuck, man. This is this is some this is some fucking Hitler youth members in Austria. This is a bunch of boys at sleepaway camp. This is a bunch of fucking little blonde white fucking German boys at sleepaway camp. That's what the fuck this is. It's Hitler youth members in Austria. Dude, this is the gayest goddamn shit. This is just, this is, this is like the ramblings of fucking horny teenagers. And they gave it book of the year. The most important fucking book. Oh, shit. German girls address the Fuhrer is in here. Oh, look. References to fruit ripening. Who would have guessed that would be occurring? Okay. It's about breeding. It's about breeding. That's that's the, the, the German girls address the Fuhrer poem. It's about breeding. There's no other way to not notice what that's about. You know. Through our bodies into new life. Straight up. Yeah. Definitely about breeding. The one the one shout out the girls get, the German girls get, it's about breeding. <laughs> Some Nazi youth kid. Let's make Goering uh, read our uh, uh Ger let's make Goebbels read our erotic fanfic. It kinda is. Dude, this kinda is. I mean outside the I mean it's all dude, this is fucking Alright. Well that's that's a fucking no hitter. Dude, don't they have okay, so German poet Battle hymns for the Nazi party. Okay, so like this dude's like a real poet. Um, Herbert Boom. Um, German poet who wrote poems and battle hymns for the Nazi party. I mean, that seems like somebody who should have some like, okay, so... Like, if somebody wrote some poetry. Yeah, I don't give a shit about his bio. I want the poems. Everybody says he's a fucking poet. Do we have any of his poems? Uh, what does he fucking have to say? Dude, fucking... Why is it so complicated to find fucking evidence of these people's misdeeds? I sound starting to sound conspiratorial there. Like, I'm just saying, like, dude, we shouldn't scrub this shit. This shouldn't be highly censored material. This shouldn't be things we're reticent to, like, archive. We need to be able to keep track of this shit. Um, fucking. Ernstrom. Uh, definitely fits with their uh, incel tactics. Uh, to be honest, it's kind of genius. Attract incels. Oh, we're, are we not allowed? We're not allowed to say that word. I don't think. Then public. Uh, then publishes uh, <laughs> erotic poems that uh, tie sex to nationalism. Um. Oh wait, wait, wait. Is he? Is he fucking? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, wait. Um, Kaiser. Ernst Röhm. That's fucking Hitler's boyfriend, right? Yeah, 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 fucking. I posted a link earlier. Uh, okay, poetry soup. Poems about fascism. Yeah, I, I, you know, are these? I see. I want of the era. I, yeah, I want something that was like. Re 
beaten by a Nazi in the middle of the fucking war. Um, chief gay of the Nazi party, Ernst Röhm. Oh. Eurasian people were born of war. The ones that survived used any means necessary to gain access to an enemy's resource, wheat, women, and they used homosexual propaganda to do it. <laughs> you know, do what you gotta do, right? Um, all right, so let me uh, clear something here. There we go. All right. Ah, uh, the whole night of the long nights was over a dramatic breakup with her. <laughs> I mean, you know. Uh, probably be better because everything I was reading was shit. Horrible rhythm, re uh, rhythm, rhyme scheme was missing. Yeah, dude, it's fucking... You can... You really can't count on the fucking fascists to bring the art, can you? <sighs> fucking... Yeah. I mean... You can't expect the creatives to hang out with the fascists for too long. <laughs> it's just the way it goes. So, not surprised. Uh, Rev. Yeah, again, I don't think I'm allowed to t I say that word. Um, though, auto fucking mod doesn't even pick it up, so, you know. Um. Oh, what's going on where? Oh, I mean, I'm not surprised. Cupcake, I just saw that. I'm not surprised. That's been a while coming. I mean, it's been a while coming. Uh, apparently, Glazy has left the uh, Discord server, everyone. Mm. Yeah, he's uh, he has he has left. It seems like. Uh, clear that too. <clears throat> Y'all beat up on him way regularly, way regularly. <laughs> he's not gonna change his mind. His ego's too entrenched. Oh, I don't know, Cassie. He just there, there's no event. It's just it, it seems, it seems that it was just a decision. Yeah. Now my donuts are gonna be trash. Well, he regularly had shit opinions. I mean, yes, yes. Yeah. Rev, I miss him already. I kind of do too. We'll see if he shows up to the stream. We'll see if he shows up to the stream. See? Kaiser, my point exactly. You can't expect him to hang out with him too long. Because they're fascists. Creatives will eventually leave. We could have been nicer, I admit it, but in my defense, Florida Empire. Yes, the uprising, the, the Floridian uprising. A&E should do, uh, should do a show on how the CIA, uh, what's up devil? Uh, how the CIA recruits promising high school students with marijuana laced with highly psychoactive Nazi serums. I mean, okay. I'm out of tortillas. This is how I die, says to be. No, not a Latino there. That time Glazy was agreeing with a troll and I banned him was hilarious. He said, you mean meth? Ah. Uh.
Florida proves we must end the globo hetero agenda to indoctrinate our kids. Oh, that don't say gay bill spread. That don't that don't say gay bill is spreading. Fucking other states are wanting to copy it now. So, look forward to that. Yep. Oh. The bill requires abstinence education in 6 through 12. Oh, fuck me. There's literally no science. None. I just had to do it. I just did a show on this. I just did a show on this. So many sources. So many sources. There's no science. There's just none. It, it just absence only, dude. We know what, yeah, yeah. They're looking to manipulate society. It, that, that's the those net negative outcomes that that come from abstinence only education. Do they desire those net negative outcomes? That's intentional. They're they're manipulating society on purpose. That's what they are attempting to do. Oh. What about the brain scans? I know, right, Fertis? I, I can log into Ida right now and we can look at him if Dr. Professor SC wants to show up and defend his position. We can. I can follow along as he walks me through. Um, F-bombs is becoming untenable. Where and how is it at? And, uh, it doesn't. It's just a giant fucking bat. It's just a s giant series of wars. It never stops. It's just a continual battle and another battle and another battle. And every generation puts up with it to one degree or another. We all have to get in it at some point. It's just... Yeah. Cruelty is the point. Uh... Pretty sure that dude's accent was fake? Oh, yeah. It was an affectation he was putting on. He was attempting to sound intellectual. Yes. I'm, I'm professorial if I speak this way. Yeah. It's what he was attempting to do, was seem highfalutin. Uh, Sonia, the highest pregnancy rate in my town is the Catholic girls' school. Guess what sex ed they favor? Oh, I'm sure a comprehensive sexual education from early life. Yeah. Starting in like third grade. I'm sure that's that's most assuredly, right? I'm I'm right. I'm not you know what, Sonia, don't even don't even bother replying because I, I know I'm right. So you don't you don't need to correct me and tell me that it's obviously abstinence only. I, I, I know the Catholics are giving a comprehensive sexual education. Um, that's most assuredly what they're doing. Um, to be fair, it was hilarious as Rev. <laughs> Not by a no bait, you're just a bit of a cunt when you speak like that. Uh, cupcake. I've never had a single professor who ever spoke like that. That's because he never, I, you know what? That, that is the kind of crazy shit though people get up to though. I, I have two of those in a single sentence. Stoned. Um, not a single intellectual I've ever met talked like him. Yeah. Um. That's what I got. They had us paint pictures of saints in third grade, and I painted St. Barbara sharing darkness of the Middle Ages. Jesus Christ. Oh, man, that's too... <laughs> Education is the panacea. You know that, right? It's, it's the source of so many of our ales. And is the, the, the true panacea. It always is. Education. It's not complicated. It really isn't. You empower young mothers and you make sure you have an educated populace. Problems start just rapidly solving themselves after you do that. It, it really is that simple in a lot of cases. And people don't even want to come to terms with that. Like that's disempowering young mothers is the number one way you can hold down a society. Sure. Numerous studies have found the easiest way to uplift uh, some poor African village, some just destitute kids starving to death, 
right? Empower young mothers. Couple of generations, the pro like the village is thriving. It's that simple. Make sure you have an educated populace and empower young mothers. What does our society attempt to do? Make sure that we have a miseducated populace and they disempower young mothers. We are not stupid. We're not fools. This isn't the actions of crazy men. This was intentional. This is by design. This is how the system works. So. Oh, 990. Dude, the Catholics were giving, uh, the Catholics were uh, doing all sorts of anti-Semitic propaganda prior to the, uh, prior to World War II in the region. Yeah. Oh yeah. The Catholics most assuredly have a, a bloody hand in the National Socialist rise to power and the genocide they committed. Oh, yes. For two, I'm sorry, sir, but I identify as a stupid fool. Thank you. Um, circling back to that Rose guy from Tennessee guy, smarty pants. Yeah. It's, it's not complicated. It really isn't. Dude, this isn't some, like... You don't need fucking reptilians for this shit. Yeah, it's a conspiracy. Of course it's a conspiracy. But you don't need fucking reptilians and like ultra-dimensional aliens and shit like that. Dude, it's right there in front of you. There's rich and powerful people colluding to benefit themselves and disempower you. It's that simple. It's been that way for thousands of years. You don't change the book. You don't change the... Um, you don't change the game plan if the game plan is working. If you're leading the game by like a thousand points, that's not when you throw out the playbook. You're like, I know. Let's stop everything we've been doing that's just winning us this game. And start doing... No, that's not how that works. Dude, this is the same fucking playbook that's been used for thousands of years. It's ridiculous at this point. Wasn't the Pope actually from the Nazi ideology as well? They didn't teach us that in high school. I mean, <laughs> the list of shit they didn't teach you in high school. <laughs> I mean, you know, first pick up Howard Zinn's a people's history of, you know, of the United States or of America, whichever one. It's fucking, like I said, stoned, right? First go read some Howard Zinn so you can, like, f like, oh, this is, they just left this shit out? Yeah. Yeah, like here's a bunch of stories you kind of know about and some stories you've never even heard. But like you you read through and you're like, oh, they left that part out too. Yeah. Yeah, they did. You know, that's where I'd say start. <clears throat> There's a lot of shit they left out of the story. Reb, I mean, conspiracy is defined as five plus individuals. It's not exactly inconceivable. Plus, the CIA, jail, a CIA allegedly invented the term conspiracy theory to discredit actual conspiracies. Uh, yes. <laughs> F-bombs. The church rewrote the text to remove references to Jews to comply with the Aryan rule. They were doing shit before then. Ah. Uh, way too down to no specifics from the back reaches, but, uh, uh, that was not what I meant to hit. Yeah, there's there's a split here. Um <laughs> Yeah, like they were giving sermons. Like as the final solution commenced. I don't need that kind of downer right now. 
Uh. <laughs> it's okay, F bombs. It's okay. It's an after dark show though. Try and keep the vibe going. Right? But yeah. Of course, Zippy, if you made it, that's what artwork's for. Dude, I consider artwork to be like the expression of human creation and emotion and that sort of thing, right? If it's an expe expression of your creative abilities, as far as I'm concerned, it's artwork. So I don't give a shit. Like, yeah, like if you guys make um, knives, put it in artwork. If you fucking make Lichtenberg, Lichtenberg uh, fucking artwork, put it in fucking artwork, right? Like that's, that's what that's there for. Show yourselves off because I like seeing that stuff. But I want it in one location so I know where it all is. I don't want to go scrolling for it. Um, I make stuff, says Puka. Well, then I want to see it. Put it in artwork. Artwork's under shared content. That's what you sound like now, Puka. <laughs> I make stuff. That's Puka's voice. <laughs> oh. It happens. Uh, I'm an artist too, says Rev. Um, Che, the Vatican didn't remove the blame the Jews for killing Christ as an official stance until the 1960s. Yeah, I mean, you know, that helps, right? Right? Like, that's when you've, like, when it's official doctrine that the Jews are to blame for, like, the killing of the Lord and Savior. You know, it's an easy way to get some negative emotions going towards a group if you're out there teaching that from birth. <laughs> I'm sure there's no, no method to prime that plus we have space lasers so yeah well I mean can I get some platform time on the space laser I just I want to just how long do you have to use it for it to take effect because that dictates how much time I want to ask for. I may want just like five seconds. I may want like, you know, 30. Can you get, can you get me some time on the, on the Jewish space laser? Yeah. I just want to, you know, borrow it. If you guys aren't using it for a minute. That's all. Come on. Don't be stingy. Um... <laughs> Oh, hashtag canceled. <laughs> oh my God, one of those quarter things outside Kmart. <laughs> Space laser timeshare is my new hit single, says Crystal Gears. You know what? That would be a banger of a fucking song. Space space laser time fair. Yeah. That'd be a banger of a fucking song. You know what? It doesn't matter what that is. If you said that your product line was that, if your store was called that, if your record was called that, if your art project was called that, if you hit me with space laser timeshare, I'm gonna look at what you do. I'm gonna be curious. I'm gonna be like, what 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 else you got? Oh, I'm sure Space Lasers is taken. Oh, I'm sure Space Lasers is taken. Come on, somebody's got to own it. Uh, let me check. Or lease it. Nobody owns them. Yeah, oh, dude, that was registered in the year 2000. Space Lasers was registered in the year 2000. You can make an offer, but good luck. Yeah, Space Lasers has been registered for a while. Uh, now, now begs the question: Jewish Space Lasers. dot com. Jewish Space Lasers. dot com was registered in twenty twenty one. Someone immediately registered it. Yes.
Yeah. Um, Jewish space lasers. Dot com. Let's do Jewish space laser. You guys are gonna love it. You guys are gonna love it. Watch this. All right. Are you ready? Jewish space laser. Dot com. Representative Jimmy Gomez, California's 34th district, to introduce resolution expelling Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene from Congress. Hey, Jimmy, what's up? What's up, Starlight? And hey there, Evil Redacted. <laughs> Good on him. Good on him. At least it's going to. It's 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 fucking with her. It's fucking with her. That's a good cause. That's a good cause. He's still a statist asshole, but it's funny. Good on you. Good idea, F bombs. I did that ish back in 2001. I bought KellerWilliams.com, but with, but uh, with one L, and it led to my real estate page. <laughs> Is it racist to say his name sounds like the guy with the baseball bat that comes over to your bodega once a month? <laughs> Probably a little. Probably a little. I think it's in. I think it's in the acceptable range. It doesn't get your ass immediately kicked. Oh, uh, so it's kind of funny and kind of true, so. Uh. Oh, God, America. America. You're not going to be happy with this. You're not going to be happy with this. And the, and the, the foreigners just, you know what? Hey, thank you for the donation, uh, whoever popped that. Uh, thank you kindly. Like, foreigners, just go ahead and get your smug hat on. Right? Just go ahead and do it. You're going to have one of those, Jesus Christ, America, get your shit together moments on your hands. All right? I'm just handing you this one on a platter for the next time you want to talk shit about America with all your, like, leftist European pals and shit like that. <clears throat> Chester, just south of Philadelphia. So just south of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. In Chester. At a gas station. This headline occurred. A two-year-old boy fatally shot his four-year-old sister. I'll repeat for those in the back. A two-year-old boy fatally shot his four-year-old sister. Merck. Uh, fuck, we suck. <sighs> we have no details beyond that. I mean, all I have from the police is a statement of the toddler had been handling the weapon. It wasn't immediately clear what kind of gun it was or how he got it from any statements made by the police. That is the responsibility of the parents. That's what you call a shit gun owner. Yeah. 
That's a really loose action. Also, wait. Oh, hang on. Did they say? No. No, okay, so, yeah, fucking, dude, I'll be interested to know what, uh, what kind of gun that was, actually. Two-year-old. So, you, uh, you Americans learn your constitutional amendments based on how old you are? Starlight, that is true. That's, that's actually a fact. That is a true fact. Um, that is a, that is an intrinsic element of our curriculum in America. Um, yeah, they go sequentially in ascending order. <laughs> uh, it, Rev, uh, was it rural? What state? It was Chester, uh, outside of South, uh, I think outside of Philadelphia. Fuck it. Let's look. Um, all right. Nah, this is anything but rural, man. <laughs> this is the opposite of rural. Yeah, it's just on this southwest side of fucking Philly. Oh, it's right adjacent to the airport. So, really good real estate. Either way. Was the sister in a gang? Oh. Oh, I hate you, Crix. Oh, I hate you. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Maybe a brown half-sister. Yeah. If that were my kid, I'd be permanently in Roblox myself. So true. Yeah. That's some shit. That's some shit. Right, like the kid, the, the the parent was clearly fucking neglectful as far as their firearms handling goes, and it's probably not a all around great parent, but that's some rough shit to live with. <clears throat> fucking having your two year old kill your four year old. Yeah. Do you ever? Do you ever tell him? He's gonna find out. Jesus Christ! What kind of therapy do you send that kid to? How do you even broach that, dude? That's a fuck, dude. That's that's a set of questions, dude. What kind of therapist handles that shit? Um. Yeah, dude, Zippy, that's what I'm pondering now. It's like, you've got to tell them. They're going to find out one day. You can't have that kid being like 16 and just Googling their name or some shit. And all this, like, some crap pops off or something, right? Like, you can't, dude, you don't want that. You can't spring that on a kid. Somebody's got to tell them. When do you tell them? How do you tell them? That's some therapist shit. That's that's some stuff I am not equipped to even begin to scratch the surface of. Imagine the school bullying. <laughs> you killed your sister. I mean, you move, you change your name, and you give the kid a fresh start. And you double down. That's you wanna you wanna make up for it if you even get that kid back. If you even get that kid back. Dude, CPS may not give that kid back. But if you get that kid back, dude, that's that's your only redemption. Is you double down on that fucking kid and you just swallow that trauma and you just man the fuck up, woman the fuck up. You deal with your shit. 
and you disappear that for your kid. You change your fucking name, you change the kid's name, you move somewhere else and you give them a fresh start. And you just take that shit to the grave with you. But I'm pretty sure that kid's probably, yeah, a ward of the state. That kid's probably being held by CPS at this point. Should they give them back? Ah. Yes. God, yes. I Number one predictor for jail is um, foster care. It's the number one predictor for jail in our country. You, you show me somebody who's been in foster care and not gone to jail, and I'll show you somebody who slipped by the skin of their teeth. Straight up. My mom was the foster care review, uh, re a review board chairperson for the entirety of the state of Arizona. I have seen that shit from the inside. Yeah. Um, yeah. This The scary thing is, is that even given a parent who is a neglectful, neglectful firearms owner and their direct, the direct result of their neglect led to the death of one of their children at the hands of another uh, of their children. Knowing what I know about our, our foster care and adoption system in this country, knowing what I know about CPS, I say the, the kid probably has a better shot with the parent. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's, that's some truth for you. For like for the non -Amer the Americans probably already know this shit, but the fact, the fact of the matter is, is yeah, if you're, you're not an American, like, yeah, yeah. I, I know both sides of that aisle and I'm willing to make that ethical call. Yeah, I, I, I really think that kid probably be better off with the parent than in foster care. Foster care will fuck them up. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. Yeah. Uh, Rev, the system is bad. No, it, it is, it's fucking nightmarish. It's nightmarish. I mean, true, but if you're going to go for foster care in any PA county, Chester City to Chester County is actually not terrible. I mean, isn't most of the U.S. adoption system run for not for, uh, as for profit? I can't speak to the percentages on that, but there is a significant chunk that is for profit. Yes. Yeah, we sell kids. We sell kids. It's illegal. Yeah, we're not selling them into like the mines, but we do sell them. There's there's commerce attached to adoption. Yeah. The government even gets their cut. It's taxes and registration and government filings and that sort of thing. Every everybody takes a cut. It's costly. It's it's expensive to do adoption in the US. It really is. Yeah. Everybody gets a cut. We sell kids. Oh yeah. Dude, F bombs, that shit's the stuff of legend. Yeah, the kids for cash scandal in PA, dude. That's that's not as uncommon as you think it is, or you may already think it think that way. But that's not as uncommon as you think it is, dude. There's there's a lot of that kind of shit floating around. Um. Yeah, well, then, Marcus, I guess the best we can hope for the kid, if the kid does end up in CPS, if he does end up in the system, then best, I suppose, we could call, uh, we could end up, uh, hope for is that he ends up in Chester City, not Chester County, right? Well, that's not going to work. The couch is too far away. I couldn't put my feet up over there. My legs are on fire right now, for those that keep track of how Kai's neuropathy is and stuff. Um, like, yeah, it's, it's all the way up to my, like, thighs. Um, just as an aside, them getting caught is the only uncommon bit, says Beast. Yes. Um, Cassidy, I, I presume you, you just hit enter too quickly. Um, Zippy, yeah, and as far as what uh, kind of therapist deals with that, the same that deals with everything else. You'd have to be willing to listen to adults being late to work because they struggle to brush their teeth, and it's because of shit they ha had happened to them in childhood, says Zippy. Fair enough. Rev literal child slavery. Okay. So adopting a newborn in the U.S. starts at 10,000 and only goes up from there. Cassidy, former investigative journalist. I trust it. Straight up. Yeah. So adoption starts at 10K. 
to what it costs to adopt a kid. We're not looking to, you know, make sure the kid has a good home. We're just making sure that, you know, we get our cut. Good job. Good job, good job. No, Cricks. No. Similar price to get a kid from Russia. Mm, interesting. Capitalism has seeped into everything. Yeah, no, it has permeated everything. It's it's viral. It's viral. Cap capitalism is viral. By its very sort of intrinsic nature, it seems by definition viral. It is contagious. What about dual artificial insemination? I love Dave Rubin. That's Rev. Um, I've actually helped with that process for my old boss, says Cassidy. Yeah, see? Beast and the newborns are the ones everyone wants, while so many others get stuck in foster till 18. Dude, if you don't get adopted when you're, like, cute, that's, that's, dude, if you're not, like, young and cute, and young enough that the parents' ego can feel like they raised you as you, their own, right? Because, let's face it, people's ego gets involved in everything they do. So, yeah, they they want them young enough that they feel like they raised them, right? That they're out, they I, they made them in their image to some extent. You if you age out of that window and you're still not adopted, good luck. Foster care is a motherfucker. You're probably gonna end up in jail. It's over a coin flip, by the way. It's it's the odds are in favor of you ending up in prison. Not just like county or some shit. You ending up in prison if you're in uh, foster care. Yeah. It's a huge determining factor whether you end up in jail in this country or not. It, it's it's the number one. You want the easiest predictor of whether somebody's been in uh, in and out of the uh, prison system in our country? Ask if they, be, if they uh, grew up in foster care. Easiest way. Second one, did you grow up in poverty? You get two, you get two for two, guaranteed, they're in prison. They did time. They might have gotten clean, they might have gotten out, they might have not served any serious sentences, but it's the number one predictor. It's fucking pathetic. <laughs> Depends on what one needs the kid for. You might buy a Russian over a soft American for working the fields, says Cricks. I mean, yeah, I mean, he's goddamn... Goddamn fucking millennials playing video games and shit, right? Because all children are millennials. Is that boomer enough? All kids are millennials. Um, these woke babies. I know, right? Jesus Christ. Yep, it might not be the worst time, but if there's no time, it's a minor miracle, says Marcus. Yeah, no, that's the that's if you can answer those two questions, whether they've been in foster care and whether they've been exposed to childhood poverty, you'll know whether they were in or out of in and out of jail. It's that that'll tell you in our country. It's fucking pathetic. It's, I, yeah. What do you say? What do you say to it? We're a fucking prison nation. We are. Can babies be litter box trained? I don't believe so. Uh, I'm sure BF Skinner probably tried it. That psychopath. I'm worried about my kids. Three quarters of them aren't biologically related to me, and I'm poor as shit, says Rev. Yeah. I mean, it's just, I'm just going to drop some real shit, right, Rev? Yeah. There's reason to be worried. Don't worry yourself to death, man. Do the best you can, but fucking get it. You may not be able to give them, like, economic wealth but dude you got a lot of skills you got a lot of knowledge you got some wisdom rattling around in your head make sure you give that to them at the very least and you seem to be so make them rich in other ways yeah teach them the ways of this bullshit world before they get bit in the ass by it although I've never managed to go to I've managed to never go to jail I credit being white passing says Rev. That'll be your number three question, by the way, but you don't need to ask it. Yep, Sonia, being poor, raising kids myself, give them quality time. Yeah, there's other ways to make them rich. That's a motherfucker, but you can't overcome it. You can overcome it. It's, it's, it's not, you know, it's not insurmountable. Plenty of parents have overcome that. You just got to put in the fucking legwork on it. Oh, God. 
the tankies are doing Nazi uh, genocide uh, denial now, by the way. Um, it just popped up on my tanky jerk feed. The, the fucking the tankies are talking about how like they're since they're lying about defense. Uh, here's the exact quote. They lied about lots of things. Now start to defend Nazis in Ukraine. Why couldn't they lie about then? I'm starting to think. Uh, I'm st- I'm starting to think whether the six million Jew genocide during the World War Two was real. Yeah, the the tankies are doing literal genocide denial. Um, like, yeah, tank tankies have circled so far. Around. They're just doing. They're back at the Ribbentrop fucking pact, right? Like we're just we're just back at fucking Ribbentrop, just doing Nazis and fucking tankies hands across the aisle. So, yeah, Ooh. yeah, I'm I, Puka. Yeah, not surprised. Not surprised at all. <laughs> Beast, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> uh, Cricks. Everything he says is disinformation, right? Like, I mean, that motherfucker is against Mendelian genetics. That motherfucker was arguing against the uh, the second law of thermodynamics, for fuck's sake. I'm not kidding you. This motherfucker, dude, I, I, think that, I think his disinformation is so broad and so constant. It's like, a, dude, that's like some Russian fire hose shit. Like, I'm not sure they can deal with it. Two whole theory, baby. Yes, he is against the laws of physics. No, 100%. Like, this dude's weird as shit, man. And dinosaur... Dude... He'd probably use the Tucker Alex defense. No way a sound mind would believe them. Oh, my God. Right? It's fucking ridiculous. You... you Exactly, Amorous. You sheep believe everything Western capitalist pseudoscience says, right? Yeah, 100%. Bah. It's better than Lysenko squad represent. Dude, he actually, like, he goes out there and defends Lysenkoism. This shit killed millions of people. Like, straight up. Like, it's stupid. It's stupid. It's the dumbest idea. I don't even know how you get to that. Like, any, like, you could tell he was a city boy, right? Like, you could tell he didn't have, like, farm boy upbringing, right? Because if, if Lysenko grew up on a farm, I gotta check this. Dude, dude, where, where does this motherfucker grow up? Because anybody who grew up on a farm should know this shit. Life and career. Peasant family. But no, he was a young man working at the Kiev uh, Agricultural Institute. So, like, what happened? It's because he disagreed with Gregor Mendel. That's that's where the fucking the the crazy starts. That's where the crazy starts. He did the vernalization experiments, but yeah, the crazy starts when Lysenko rejects uh, Gregor Mendel's theory. He he considered it too reactionary or idealist. That's the that's the origin of the hmm. is. Lysenko fucking looked at Mendel's work and said, you're a fucking reactionary and discounted the science that Gregor Mendel had done. And on a point of pride and a point of ideology went the other direction, which was not how nature works. Mendel was attempting to describe the, be- the workings of nature, right? To go the opposite direction from that is... Well, you planting an entire field's worth of potatoes in a single square meter and expecting them to produce an entire field's worth of potatoes. Stupid. Oh, they do, Red. They do. 
They really do. It's it's a constant talking point for them. It, it just is. Oh, and just FYI, Stalin worked with the Koch brothers. Okay, so 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 you want to say some shit that pisses them off even further? S Stalin banged underage girls, and um, Stalin worked with the Koch brothers. Those Koch brothers, yes, yeah, they uh, Coke Industries, yeah. So Stalin worked with the the libertarians. Just saying. Ah, uh, so young Fred Koch was, quote, an innovator who helped revolutionize the oil industry. In 1927, so this would be daddy. In 1927, he developed a more efficient thermal cracking process for turning crude oil into gasoline. His invention allowed uh, smaller players to compete better with oil giants, prompting the latter to file 44 different lawsuits against Coke, embroiling him in litigation. Nonetheless, he did win those lawsuits, by the way. But in 1925, Coke entered into a partnership with a guy by the name of Louis Winkler, a former employee, uh, employee of Universal Oil Products. Winkler developed a cracking apparatus that non-patentable modifications to his former employer's uh, intellectual property, resulting in patent infringement. A 1929 patent infringement lawsuit by the UOP basically shut down their business. It was a legal stranglehold in America. Well, that caused Winkler and Koch to seek overseas clientele that may have a need for oh, I don't know, some newest generation petroleum distillation technologies. Um, so if you happen to know any groups that might be looking to industrialize an entire nation and take advantage of their uh, petrochemical distillation processes uh, or, that, or the dis, uh, take advantage of the distillation of petrochemical products, maybe call Fred Koch and see what's up. And that's, well, that's where the marriage of Joseph Stalin and Fred Koch to help build out the, here's the quote, the company signed contracts to build petro uh, petroleum distillation plants in the so Soviet Union, which did not recognize intellectual property rights. So they were able to use the developed process that they partially stole from universal oil products as much as they wanted. And the Soviet regime compensated them as such. Amorous tanky paradox is that you can't believe anything that anyone in capitalism country says, but you can believe American tankies because reasons. And so there's your answer, Che. Okay, here was me thinking, did they fund Stalin like they do Ruben? No. No, no. This is, this is, this is origin money. This is origin money. Uh... Oh, F bombs. I mean, he's all tied up in fucking coal and petro. Yeah, he's owned. He's fucking owned. Uh, imagine fucking Ruben with the with the mustache. I mean, for two, you can make that happen probably pretty quickly. Although the meme lord is fucking caboose. He, he'd knock that out already. Rev said, but Caleb Maupin and Jimmy Dore said that Russia was competition for the established petro uh, petrol chem, uh, companies. Mm. Is that what Caleb Moppin and Jimmy Dore said? That's that's good to know. I often I often find myself sitting back wondering. You know, I'll find myself um, daydreaming throughout the day. And I'm like, you know, I wonder what Caleb Moppin and Jimmy Dore would have to say about this. It's 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 a common occurrence, so it's good to know. It's good to know what they uh, they had to say on that matter. 
Che. It's wild that tankies refuse to acknowledge the likes of the U.S. Uh, and German capitalists helping to fund uh, Russian revolutionaries to try and destabilize the Russian Empire as a new world power. Yeah, um, I mean, there was all sorts of fucking... I mean, Daddy Bush got all up in that. Union banking. Right? There's a whole bunch of that. I mean, IBM built the goddamn counting machines. <laughs> What would WWCD? What would Caleb do? Exactly. WWJT? What would uh, what would Jimmy Dore think? Uh, probably uh, Stalin caboose. Stalin's mustache on Dave Rubin. I think is the idea. Yeah, I think that's the the, the it's the Stalin stash on Dave Rubin. Uh, Kaiser said, well, you're in luck because Caleb streams every fucking day. Good. Dude, I'll be, I'll definitely be checking in with Caleb Maupin. Hmm? Yep. Let's... <laughs> Caleb would eat Burger King and hang out with Dugan. Uh, Maupin would need to see what RT says about it before forming an opinion. Dora would wait for the Dem position and say the opposite. Well, I put a Lenin goatee on a friend, so give me a sec. I didn't want to ask you to fucking do another uh, <laughs> another haircut out. I know how you feel about him. <laughs> Just a pain in the ass. I, I feel you. Oh, uh, there's Zippy's artwork. Uh, some, oh, some tiles, some earrings. Caboose made a sword. There's some plates. Jesus Christ, I'm going to list. All right, there we go. Oh, there's Cassie. Okay, I see. Zippy did the earrings and the tile work. Oh, door work. Okay, so doors. All right, here I'll sh I'll show you guys what I'm looking at. Some earrings. I think those are wood. They seem woodish. Some door stuff. Oh, for fuck's sake! Hold on one sec. There you go. Oh, that's that's a fucking 3D thingy. Got some layers built up there. I like the color scheme. Hey, nice frothy mug of 3D beer. It's a plate. It's a fancy plate. It's a fancy, fancy plate. Uh, what do we got? It's got to be all your fucking dogs. It's got to be all your fucking dogs. <laughs> For those who aren't aware of some etching, <laughs> Cassidy may have a problem when it comes to collecting animals. Uh, some wood burning. Laser engraved. Okay. Oh no, not swords. I was at an event and there was a charity auction where a 250 uh, pound sword went for 46 pounds. Why didn't show Caboose's sword? Where's Caboose's sword? That's the sword. And then Beast made some, I think this is copper, isn't this Beast? Pretty sure this is copper. This feels copper. You probably can't. Dude, watch out. Some fucking method's gonna steal those from you. <laughs> Alright, what else do I have? I have so many cop stories. Oh. Oh, yeah. Um. <laughs> like, no joke, though, they will. <laughs> it's just evil. No, they will. Uh, yep, copper wire. It's one of my favorite mediums I gave to my dad because he loved dragons. No clue what happened to it after he died. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, Rev does bead stuff. Bead stuff. Bead stuff. There's a Celtic knot. Oh, Puka. 
Holy shit, Puka. What the f All right. This is what Puka does. solid work puka the solid work yeah good on you oh you've got a you've got an aesthetic don't you puka i see you Ta fucking talented bitches up in here no that's did <laughs> this is what i was talking about with the <laughs> caboose just put his artwork uh That's Dave Rubin with a Stalin stash. Thank you, Caboose. Caboose delivering. <laughs> Jay. Interesting, Jay. Interesting. Che, che, I don't like how hot I find that. You fuckers have a bad habit of making me laugh with smoke in my lungs. Space. I'm on two hours of sleep and I'm ready to fight God, says Caboose. I respect it, Caboose. Ugh. Celery and ranch. Oh, well. I just wanted something fibrous that would, you know, fill me up a little bit. So I was snacking beforehand. Um, so, yes. You like peanut? I do. I, you know, I get it. Yeah. I don't, I don't mind that. I don't mind that at all. So, Russia has launched a series of programs trying to figure out how to lure highly skilled expatriates back home. The Industry and Trade Ministry literally said this on Monday. They are studying what extra incentives it needs to offer the highly skilled Russian expatriates to persuade them to return home. They're like, what are we going to need to do to get back all of these creatives and the, the, the people who run our society back? Because they left. They took the first fucking flight out, the first train out, and they got a job wherever they went. Because everybody was like, yeah, fuck yeah. I'll hire you. <laughs> they shot themselves so, so, so hard in the foot. I'm sure they'll get a few back, but caboose, it's going to be more than pay. Dude, I'd need some assurances. I'd need access to some shit. Yeah, I mean, that, but they're not going to do that, caboose. Um, yeah, the further development of this program and additional benefits to attract highly qualified Russian specialists from different spheres is being discussed. The ministry said the current program includes compensation for the cost of moving six months of unemployment benefits and other financial incentives, the ministry said, but they're trying to figure out how to actually make it work because this ain't working. So, um, Yeah, you're fine.
you gonna make me act up. <laughs> you gonna make me do something, I'm over good. <laughs> what you trying to say, Walrus? What you trying to say? <laughs> uh Let's see. That's another cop story. Don't care. Yeah, that's saved for another day. Another cop story. God damn it. The cops are fucking always at it. Oh, wow. That's actually... Dude, that's not even gonna... Dude, that's not even worth mentioning on Popo's Bizarre Adventures because it's not bizarre enough. An Illinois police officer has resigned after white supremacist posts surface online. Why do you, why do you, oh, he's old as fuck. I, who fucking took his pension? That's what? I'm like, why do you resign? Just because some white supremacist shit popped on him? He's a fucking cop. Shit happens every day of the week. Yeah, he retired. It's just surprising because he resigned instead of getting a raise. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love the um, uh, Springfield. Evil Springfield. Uh, the Springfield Police Department is, commi is committed to a complete and thorough investigation into the comments and actions of Aaron Nichols, regardless of his resignation, the statement said. <sighs> and then they breathed a sigh of relief, knowing that they wouldn't actually have to do anything. Yeah. And it's not even worth mentioning on Popo's Bizarre Adventures. That's just... Like, motherfucker just retired. <laughs> like, yeah, I'll just take my pension. Nah. Nah. They may want that, Walrus. I'll tell you that it's, it's not as common as you would, li you would like it to be. Um, but they are an entity within a system that prevents them from helping their community, even if they so wish. So they did the wrong thing. They actually want to help their community. Being a cop's the wrong answer. Yeah. It's just not really a thing. That system's a machine. I mean... I have an essay in a segment I did the origins of and problems with modern policing and I start anew on this continent and follow the thread all the way to today it's always been this way it's designed to be this way it's just the nature of the beast um uh, gnosis cops are the enforcers of the system against both far left and far right uh, except when someone takes over. See, that's I make no exceptions. Martin knows this. They're the, they're the maintainers of the status quo. They're the enforcers of the system. No matter if that's what tonality or qualities the system takes, that's the job of, of a cop. Four hours? For which one? Popos or um, Origins of? Because Origins of shouldn't be four hours. Holy shit, it is. I'm sorry. I completely fucked that edit. I'm pulling that right now. Now I see what Car Accident was saying. Yeah, dude, that's not so, that's like 29 minutes or some shit. I fucked the edit up. My bad. I just pulled it into private. I'll re upload it. Yeah, that's like less than 30 minutes. It's not four hours. That's just a fucked edit. That's an entire stream. <laughs> that's an entire stream. Yeah. No, I just need to go back there. 
It was like three hours of dead air. Interesting. All right, yeah, I'll just fix it. Car accident said said a comment that I saw like this needs to be tightened up, but I'm like, what? It's only like less than thirty minutes. Like, what do you want? But yeah, I I didn't even see that. Thanks for thanks for finally telling me, fuckers. Uh, no, thanks for giving me the heads up though. You have BLM versus Proud Boys. Guess which side the cops are policing? Um, well, seeing as the uh, BLM movement is a creation and fabrication of the CIA media c- uh, complex, um, and the, the police are to maintain the status quo of the system, I, I have to assume that when Proud Boys and BLM are protesting and counter-protesting each other, that the police... Are on the side of BLM, right? Right? Hey, Caleb. We're just hanging out. I'm breaking one of my own rules. I don't like to eat on stream, but I'm eating on stream. Mm. Oh yeah, the Blue Line gang totally supports BLM. 100%. 100%. That's that's always been my inclination. As an anarchist, I noticed when we were out, the police were on our side. It's definitely the way it always went. I mean, we're a creation of the CIA. We have we have handlers way up, right? Like my my bosses in in governance are you know beyond the U.S. government. He ties to Illuminati and that sort of shit, right? So, you know, anytime anarchists are out protesting, the police just make way for us. They they have been known in the past. Cops have been known to crack skulls on behalf of the anarchists. It's definitely a thing that occurs. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. Was that? Um, you fucking Brit bongers are just absurd. Caleb, well, I broke one of my rules. I don't like to be injured. That's not really a rule. Uh, and I have six stitches in my foot because I stood on a broken bottle stumbling home drunk as fuck. Y'all are a whole other ball game. No, yeah, they part the sea for us. Exactly, Cassie. No. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. You see, what's actually happening is some 12D chess. See, you fucking pathetic Western Anglo fucking brained uh, uh, sheeple don't realize that what's actually occurring is that the system is abusing us intentionally, even though we are a manifestation and creation of it directly, because that provides us political cover and it gives us credibility within the system. See, you you yeah, you've got to open you got to open your minds and think about it. Fucking sheep. Uh It's a rookie numbers. I did a front flip and landed full weight on the side of my ankle, drunkenly looking for a cat. Ankle still don't sit right. Um, <laughs> I love this conversation. It's occurring. Moderate Q supporters, moderate Q anons. Well, I mean, it's 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 a relative term, right? Moderate in comparison to what? Congratulations. So is property. Three. So, three X. Yeah, taxation is theft. Cool. So is property. Let's have the conversation. <laughs> blah blah blah. Anglo imperialist capitalist something or other. <laughs> exactly, Cassidy. Yeah. Profit is theft. Property is theft. Taxation is theft. I'm here for it. Let's talk. Is 
So you even caught me on a good night. I'm breathing is theft. It will be in a few years. Yeah. They'll they'll privatize air if they can. I mean, you end up on some Martian space colony or out, uh, out in the fucking, you know, asteroid belt mining or some shit. Meh. You'll have a breathing allotment or some shit like that. It'll be factored in, right, into your pay with what the resources that you consume, such as oxygen. Yeah, we're headed there. Don't worry about it. Amaris, sure, if you want to put it like that. A moderate Nazi, a moderate murderer, and a moderate tanky enter, uh, walk into a bar, says Amaris. Yeah. Yeah, right? It's a relative term. It doesn't... Moderate doesn't tell me anything. It really doesn't. So... Just, just like that. Holy shit. Just like rolled right the fuck off. Um... On second thought, I'm going to suspend the fight with God. I'm going to go get some sleep. Caboose, good luck. Sleep well, my man. Enjoy your rest. If air becomes commodified, maybe I can make some money off being rural, says Rev. Um, and they turn him away because it has. Uh, and they turn him away because it has. Sleep good. Yeah. Um, dude, they already sell Canadian mountain air in China. Hey. Um, they do. They sell, um, bottled Canadian mountain air in China. It's in little, like, pressurized, aerosolized, like, you know, things. Um, I've, I've joked about how, um, my idea, uh, is to, like, collect African rainwater and sell that shit to, like, hippie, bougie, white, middle-class women who have entirely too much time on their hands at, like, Whole Foods or something like that. Yeah. African rain. That shit will sell itself. You just, you do the back packaging, and these fucking horrible people would just buy it. Yeah, they have, oh yeah, they, we've got oxygen bars here. Yeah. Gluten-free. Oh, yeah. Dude, you better mention it's gluten-free. It's in the song. Yeah. Fat-free, gluten-free, GMO-free, organic. I don't think you're allowed to call water organic in this country. Natural. You can call it natural. Um... Oh, thank you, Zippy, and thank you, Nightflyer. Oh, yeah, I remember that. A free range water. Yeah, you can do free range. Like, yeah, no. African rainwater. Um, imagine uh, they sold air in the Lurax. Yeah, imagine the, 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 uh, the ecological cost of sh shipping African rainwater in... And we're going to do glass bottles, glass bottles, because we don't want plas plastics leaching chemicals into our pure water. So we're going to drive that freight cost up. We're going to get the petrochemical um, usage up on that as well. So let's collect African rainwater from a region that can't sacrifice really any water whatsoever. We'll be stealing water and moving it. Um, and then just go ahead and we sh let's load it on, I don't know, what's the most, the worst fucking possible because you don't want the water to like the the key to the water is freshness right it's it's the closest to the time that it has fallen the better this water is because sunlight charges it or something and so we fly all of our all of our our stock over we we airship all of it from africa rather than load it onto a ship itself yeah um Fucking and so that's then then we sell it here, and you know of course distribute by semis, um, by large trucking, um, yes air freight yeah so yeah that's that's always been I'm mean, like that's that's the, the like the worst one I've come up with like selling air is something that people talk about I'm like yeah but I think I can I think I can revolutionize like I can bring the water the selling water, I think I can bring it to the next level of evil. I've got, I've got the ideas. And I think, I think stealing African rainwater and then air shipping it in glass containers 
not into we're we're bottling at source okay none of this well you could put it into a large container and then you wouldn't have the cost of shipping the glass now fuck that that's not the point we're bottling it at source in glass bottles and virgin glass none of this reused recycled shit that's dude that's there's 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 you can't trust that reused recycled glass you don't know where that's been this is virgin first run smelt a uh, smelted glass and then we air freight that over I'm pretty sure this is some next level shit that even Nestle is not evil enough to do. Uh, Moonlight. Moonlight charges it because Moonlight is unique and special. Exactly, Zippy. It's bottled It's bottled on a full moon. It's bottled on a full moon in a facility that has no roof. Specifically, it's a retractable roof. It's specifically for that, for that, for that purpose. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Big Mac, the, uh, the uh, kind of plane. And yeah, Concord was... Uh, put on, put that on the bottle. Charge with the sun's energy. Yeah, the moon's energy now. Um, fucking full capitalist or bust, says Crix. Ground effect travel is the most efficient known man, to, uh, known method to uh, to human. Yeah, no, we're gonna we're gonna go flight for the price of a cup of co- of a coffee a day. You can remove potable water from needy kids. I mean, it's gonna be more than a price of a cup of coffee. I'm thinking, I'm thinking like price point for like. You know, yeah, like 20 ounces, 20 ounce glass, nice chunky bottle, right? 20 ounces. I'm thinking we're looking at a price point of like, I don't know, $14.99. I think I might be, I think you could, I think you could market your way. I think you could market your way into like 15, 20 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. You might be able to go even higher than that. You go for uh, you go for a fancy bottle syndrome, yeah. Cassie bucking ounce, f bomb saying, Cassie saying nineteen ninety nine. Do you go um, you go fancy bottle? Yeah, B- beast is right there. You can go a bit above twenty with a nice enough bottle. Go fancy bottle and just go through the fucking roof. Tell the story. Tell the story because you're paying for the story, right? This is bottled by some specific tribe in some specific area and it's the moonlight and it's done with a ritualistic shamanic fucking practice or some shit. Tell, tell them, tell them the story. Yeah. Cassidy. I mean, it might as well be, you know, we'll, we'll let's shop around our water. So like, it's probably not. What is, what's the pH of rainwater? Um, in Africa, in that specific location, what should it be? Natural variations. It's naturally acidic. It's actually naturally acidic. Yeah. So. Fond historian, it absorbs negative energy and is expelled with the water naturally. Natural citrus. Yeah. (laughs) Um. Okay, hear me, hear me, says says Fertuse. Blimps. You fly over Africa and just vacuum the clouds off the sky and use it as a means of shipment. Tap, bottle, no. Directly from sky to glass. Fertuse, you've taken my idea and upped it to the next level, and I love it. I love the workshopping. Everybody, forget it. Forget the tribe. We're fucking, we're stealing clouds. We're stealing clouds. We're stealing rain clouds. We're using blimps and we're stealing rain clouds. Yep. That's, 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 we're, we're, we're changing the, 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 the gig. Our bottles of fucking, of African rainwater are now like $250 a bottle. We're selling this shit at clubs. Yep. We're going to get, you know what? It's, it's the choice water for like sommeliers between wine tastings and shit like that. Just, just, yeah. Pair that water with everything high end. If you're not using this water with your 30-year, you know, a drop of water in scotch actually chemically affects the scotch, and your your drop of water should be coming from an African rain cloud. I mean, why shouldn't it? You're drinking 30-year-old scotch. Your water should be the opposite to 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 bring out to to count to to meet and marry with that. Yeah, it's fucking. I've got the brand name, Blessed Rains Down from Africa. Yeah. Um, 
Like, yeah, fuck yeah. It blessed rains down from Africa. Uh, no old water, only new water. Because you, you, the scotch is old. You want to pair it with new. That's you, you complementary. It's, it's sort of the pole of polar opposites that come to marry and neutralize. And yeah, yeah. Um, water destroys the benzene ring that makes alcohol effective for alcohol. Um, you need Toto Africa for the ad campaign. I mean, of course we do. We know we do. It's the sorbet of waters. Exactly. F bomb. Um, and walrus, some evil villain shit right here. Designer water. Yeah. Um, blessed rain is too white sounding. Translate that into Swahili. Holy shit. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Blessed rains. We'll go plural. And let's see. Swahili. Do we have it? Uh, Swahili. There we go. Oh, 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 zippy. Americans can't say this. Americans can't say this. I'm going to put this in chat. Um, and like, I'll, I'll put it up on screen so y'all can, I, I guess like those not paying attention to chat can fucking, all right. Like, I mean, even if we depluralize this, this is, oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. Like. Okay. So I'm guessing that the, 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 the text to speech on that one, not accurate. Not accurate. Uh, oh, yeah, you know what? Crystal. I, dude, uh, Barikiwa. I, you know what? I think Crystal, dude, Zippy, I think Crystal's got it. You print the whole thing and then you just capitalize the, the Riki, the R I K I. You capitalize the Riki. And so you print the full name, but you capitalize the Riki and you just use Riki water. Oh, Jesus. All right, what we got? All right, let's, let's give it a fair, let's give it a fair shake. I'll fucking pause this. Mvua. Okay, I'll do that, but. Mvua. 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 You might be able to get us to do that. Mvua. Mvua water. Mvua water. Mvua water. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. Mvua could work. It'll be the newest, it'll be the new SIE, uh, fucking Mavua. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. So wait, I'm guessing. Oh, that changes entirely. Watch, watch what happens if I pull rain. Blessed. Harry. It doesn't matter if it's plural or not. So, you know. Blessed rain. Mvua Ilio Barikiwa. Mvua Ilio Barikiwa. I think. And then rain is just Mvua. So, Mvua is rain. Mvua is rain. It's Mvua. It's rainwater. Mavula water. That's it. It's Mavula water. I think that's your brand right there. Yeah. Oh, you want to know what? Okay. Let's see what Bless looks like. Bariki. Interesting. Yeah. Mavula water. Dude, you'd be bought by Nestle within the week. Yeah, Mavua would do it. Uh, nah. Why non-binary? Yeah. <laughs> uh, declension for days. That's the Barikiwa. 
Oh, Jesus. Goddamn Christ. Are you kidding me? You aren't kidding. Holy shit. No, no. Oh, my God. Look at this psychotic nonsense. I'm sorry. Persons, first, second, singular, plural, singular, plural, persons, classes, thirds, singular, first, plural, second, fucking, oh my God. And then uh, all of, of course, the pasts, the presents, the positives and negatives, future, subjunctive, present conditional, past conditional, conditional contrary to fact, gnomic, perfect, already, not yet, if, when, if not, consecutive, Relative forms? Oh my God. Here are the relatives forms for past, present, future, general positive, and general negative. And here are the forms with object concords with all, all of them. Holy shit. This word is a goddamn rabbit hole. Barikiwa in Swahili is a fucking rabbit hole. Wow. And apparently, the kubarikiwa is the infinitive form of barikiwa. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it be Swahili. Got it. Fuck that. Um, it's Swahili. It's Swahili. Um, let's, let's be honest. Nestle probably already owns the, uh, the rainwater in Africa. Oh, my God. Kaiser, you're right. You're right. I mean, it's fucking, it probably is that way. Straight up. There's no getting around that. Nine years marks... Uh, Friday marks nine years since Margaret Thatcher died. <laughs> um, I will try and remember through my stone haze and nighttime brain um, to mention that on Friday. That is worth mentioning. Uh, Riki is the special label, shamanic, blessed label. Ah, there we go. Yes, yes. Yeah, Cassie, I see what you're doing. Cross branding. Yeah, I get it. Um, fucking, <laughs> we don't fucking. When did Reagan die? Because that's the that's our version. When did Reagan die? Um, let's see. When did Reagan die? June 5th. All right. June 5th. Although this year would be the fuck. Uh, what the fuck just happened? Okay. That was weird, but we're still on the air. <laughs> that, was, that was distinctly uh, strange. All of my windows went away. Um, yeah. Okay. That's. Strange. All right. Got them all back. Got them all back. Anyway, um, 2004. That's 18 years. 18 years. Thank you. Um, yeah, so this, uh, so June 5th would be when we celebrate Reagan. Um, fucking. Oh. Dude, I heard um, it was the oil reserve speech that um, Biden gave, releasing the strategic oil reserves. That wasn't comforting. Not the the, the strategic uh, the speech itself. He didn't sound sound. He was starting to show some signs there as well. Like, fair play on the other team, too, right? Like, they're, they're like, Biden's senile. Yeah, you know what? He's not exactly sharp as attack. And that that speech where he announced that he was going to release the uh, strategic oil reserves, that was a rough speech. That was, the, he was stumbling a lot. Night, Puka. We'll call it here in a little bit, anyway. Yeah, that was, that was a little, yeah. 
after the company's release quarter, record quarterly profits. Yes, of course. Of course. Of course. Grix. As is tradition. Um, Kamala failing up uh, is astonishing. From no gullets to president. Oh, God, to fucking Kamala the fucking cop. Of all people. Of all people. Oh, yeah. Dude, Zippy. Dude, they're still pissed about Obama. Do you remember the fucking fascist dumbass? The dumbass? He was like, Obama? Fucking, dude, they're still pissed about Obama. Obama was the worst thing that ever happened to this country. I think, I'm pretty sure that's a direct quote from that, uh, that dude. Yeah. Dude, they're still pissed about Obama. You put fucking Kamala in there. Dude, they're gonna be pissed. They're gonna be pissed. Goddamn uppity doggy. Fucking, dude, they, they will not be happy. Uh, yeah, I don't have Spotify. <laughs> I'll look. Is this the fucking... Yeah, it's the Margaret Thatcher one. Margaret Thatcher's grave is a gender-neutral bathroom. That's the song title. Uh, Stuart Rhodes started the Oath Keepers in response to Obama. Yeah, dude, dude they're still pissed about that shit. They're still pissed. Um, yeah, because she got no delegates. No one voted for her then on top. And then on top. I mean, who vote? She's a buzzkill. And she's kind of weird. And kind of crazy. You've seen her laugh, right? You've seen her laugh. Like this, is just, she's just like, mm, danger, danger. Eh? You know, this is just a weird instinctual shit goes off the back of your head when you see her like cackle. You're like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> All right. Yeah, she's a cop. It's the Clinton laugh. It is the Clinton laugh. It is the Clinton laugh. Zippy, you're spot on. It's that weird fucking cackle Hillary does. Fucking you're like, God damn. Are you going to eat a couple of kids? Like, do you have like a gingerbread house or some shit you live in? Like, dude, it's it's got that quality. And that's where, you know, the feminists of media would be like, yeah, you can't talk about it. Dude, Hillary Clinton is just an unlikable cunt. It's not because she's a woman. It's because she's unlikable. <laughs> just absolutely just a miserable human being, it seems like. So, like, yeah. Sorry. Pick somebody likable. Kamala isn't fucking likable. She's a fucking cop. She's a prosecutor who protected her office even though she was ordered by courts to release prisoners and knock off a whole bunch of shit. She did it anyway. You're a fucking cop. How dare you insult the great legacy of Baba Yaga. Um, I voted Hillary because Donald's on the ballot and that's about all you can do. Pokemon, go to the polls. If it had been Ted Cruz, I might have voted Johnson or Stein or something, so zippy. Oh. Let's see. I remember when my progressive friends hard supported Tulsi Gabbard. Jesus Christ. I mean. Oh, look, another grifter. Chuck. Hmm. Um, I mean, yeah, Caleb, but we got to take our, we got to take our wins where we can get them. Tulsi is fucking wild, isn't she? Dude, and fucking, dude, it can't. Oh, um, yeah, I think. Was it Tulsi that fucking did the... Dude, there's so much anti-gay shit happening for twos. Now we got... Is it... It's Bobert that wants... Yeah, it's Bobert that said you shouldn't be able to come out until you're 21. How are you going to enforce this, you dumb twat? Like, yeah. Fucking... Tulsi's out there saying that don't say gay bills don't go far enough. Yeah, that sounds about right for her. That sounds about right for her. The problem, uh, Tulsi said, the problem was the bill uh, was uh, the bill problem with the with the bill was that it wasn't K through twelve. Uh, she was with her creep husband when she was seventeen. Bobert was, yeah, dude. There's a. We already agreed that you shouldn't be able to come out until you were twenty five. I mean, clearly, obviously. I mean, that's just common sense, Amaris. That's common sense. Just is what it is at this point. So, 
Yep, because you can't have sex until you're 25, and you shouldn't be having sex until you get married. It's just the way God wanted it. Also, we're going to be needed to chop off a piece of your dick, apparently. Just because. Oh, snip, snip. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's 2.40. I got food to make. I'm hungry. I'm stoned. I'm hungry. I got food to make. <laughs> I'm going to call it there. It's been a good hangout. It's been a good, been a good vibe. We didn't have too many idiots. Uh, I mean, Marcus, you're not, you're like, you're basically spot on for a percentage of them. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're, you were correct, basically, Marcus. <laughs> Straight up. Um, hey, good on you, Don Biter. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, it is Martin Gnosis. Um, I'm just going to release you people into the wild. Like, hey, Wilhelm. Uh, I'm not going to raid you out to anybody. I'm just going to be that way. Fuck Twitch. Societal norms of Twitch. You don't, t you don't tell me what to do, Twitch. So, yeah. Go make some shit. Um, Wednesday. I don't know. Dude, I'm going to start collecting some of these, like, pastor stories. Uh, all the fucking kitty diddler stories conservatives and shit like that. We'll start collecting those. We'll start collecting the cop stories. We'll get a new segment going. Either way. I don't know, Redacted. You're going to have to make your own decision. That's It's going to be crazy. Here in like a few seconds, I'm going to press stop streaming and then the stream is just going to be over. And you are going to have to make a decision for yourself where you go. So, here we go. Are you ready? We're, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's, it's, it's happening very quickly, fairly, very shortly. It's about it. It. Yeah. Yep. Yeah.